I, I, I already knew in my it's head crap, of heads. We, we all get together and we crack one. You got to oh, okay. pop one. You'll oh, pop no, this one. Oh, no, you have one. to drink another one yeah. now. Oh, Not sh- yet. Don't pop it yet. Don't think. Don't, Stop don't think. Don't think. think. Stop just thinking. Drink. Just drink. If there's do. one thing about unsubscribe, it's don't think before <laughs> you speak. Just do. Don't <laughs> think. do it. Just do. <laughs> Chug that beer, you Here, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Is this the right mic? Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. Whoa. Whew. Yeah, yeah, it's that one. You like top yours? It's that one. Ba 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 ba. It's this right, one. Yeah, I was getting confused because we we changed it in my head. It was always one two three, and then four was the extra. But now it's one three four, and two's the extra. <laughs> <laughs> because it's one two three four. It's down the line. Is it? I thought it's that way. One two three. Four. Well, it might. It doesn't. Matter. What I'm saying is, uh, it used to be the three main mics were the one two three, and then the fourth was our. Oh, rando. Yeah. Yeah. Now but I'm now, but now the random one is like two. Or three. Or three. three. It's three. It's three. Yeah. It sounds like me trying to do math. It's not Say good, man. <laughs> hi to okay, we got it. You like. It's racially ambiguous and batty. That guy's fucking ridiculous. And we don't know. But it's not to ask yourself why. But my friend, you've arrived. Welcome to unsubscribe. And we got this. Okay, man. okay, you ready? We gotta do the yep. gotta, All right, grab your new can. The new can. can. New oh, can. Do twist it. <gasps> Dude, berry punch. So I like you. <laughs> berry. You don't punch? want to twist the Eli? No. You don't want to join the cool kids club? You don't want to twist. I can't do. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. That was so much more. You're bowling. He's so bowling that over was here. So violent. He's just like it's strike. <laughs> Where do I land? I, I picked up a twisted teal. I was filled with rage. I, know, and I just, just wanted to. Uh, I just want to smash somebody. Okay, 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 okay. There it is. That's all. That's. Oh. Everyone come in unison. That was actually kind of. That, that was, was pretty good. So one. Great. That's truly twisted. It's nice. Not sponsored. <laughs> Soon to be. Soon to be, hopefully. No, they don't. Truly, maybe. Fucking White Claw. Bitch. We reached out to White Claw, you, White Claw, I mean, a year ago, and they were just like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> they actually were. They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't just ghost us. They said no. no. <laughs> like, man, that is power when you're like, mm. When you get a solid no, like capital letters, it's just. This could have went in my doing? belly, and I would have been bubble guts, and no one likes bubble guts. Head. Yes. What do you stop fingering your? Drink. Oh my! Five Welcome minutes. to the unsubscribe podcast. As always, we have Eli Double Tap, myself, Betty Streams, and our beautiful, so goddamn tall fucking <laughs> skyscraper. <laughs> The biggest motherfucker that's been in that chair, Hutch MF. Brother, welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for Thanks, heading all the way over to Texas. G- G-Van, blur out my finger. <laughs> that's just my finger. <laughs> I need to drink Hi, this a Hutch, lot faster. Hi, Hutch, welcome. Why are you so tall? <laughs> that's a blur. Cool. Genetics. Yeah. Uh, no, not even genetics. My oh. dad's 5'10". My mom is 5'5". Five, five. Hutch's mom, why do you six, cheat eight. on him? <laughs> Where is my dad? <laughs> yeah. Who Where, is my father? Question mark. Hutch, <laughs> Mrs. Hutch. That I'm dude. assuming. Why was our name? mailman so tall every time we moved? <laughs> and <laughs> also named Hutch. <laughs> Who delivered milk to my house? Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> I need to meet him. This is the mailman, Hutch MF. We named you after him. <laughs> <laughs> why, mom? Hutch, Monday through Friday, so he was delivering uh, the mail. Yeah. The mailman really, mailman fucker. You know what it I mean? It was there the entire time, and no one's seen it coming. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. He's never coming back. This is it. <laughs> I was, we, we have insulted his heritage. That's what we his, start his strong. Genealogy. Yeah. My mom's going to be pissed. She's going to be so mad. <laughs> Mom, don't, don't actually. Don't go check that one out. Don't, don't watch this. They yeah. question click you. Off. Click off. Delete, delete your Twitter. <laughs> Honey, how this. did they know about the mailman? <laughs> <laughs> I told you it ran in the family. <laughs> I told you that wasn't the case. I don't know why she's Southern, too. <laughs> well, makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh my Welcome god! Welcome to, to the, the this travesty, <laughs> this wreck, this train, train wreck. Train wreck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. First things first. How did we lose an F thirty five? Eighty million dollars. <laughs> I, I think my favorite. I just like it, it was, was like, like this. Marine, the Marines did it. <laughs> no, this. It's a Marine toys that Mar- USMC. Are we shocked? Are we no. shocked? We're going down. <laughs> what the fuck? No, it's yeah, still going. We're going down. It's autopilot. No, that's what I'm saying. He went and he's like, it's poor. It's just like, it just cruised away. And he's like, huh? My favorite part is we lost I mean, an $80 million jet. Can you help us find it? <laughs> I, I just like this. The guy floating down. He's like, oh, I'm in big trouble now. <laughs> this is hands across America. For real, for real, though. Bro. Oh, oh, yeah. So if you didn't know, like when we were in the military. Thank you for your service. 
I didn't serve. You did. Oh. We're making new lore up from him. No, he didn't. Okay. No, 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 <laughs> no I actually questioned Batty. Stolen Valor! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was Yo. like, wait, did he serve? Because you have like uh, an American flag in there. Yeah, I was like, very and Batty was like, no, maybe. Actually, I don't know now. <laughs> we, <laughs> I didn't know. Because you had like the I two make signs. Assumption. Yeah. I did. I, you're a veteran in my heart, which means you're a veteran in their heart too. No, I don't think so. Right? I don't, I don't think, think so. that's how. Don't. I don't think that's how it works. We like Hutch. Don't don't. <laughs> we like him. Stop it, Twitter. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> we got him. This piece of shit. <laughs> Stolen back. I graduated the top of my now. I'll have you know I graduated the top of my Navy SEAL class. Motherfucker. But dude, just fucking autopiloted the fucking the F-35 is like, I'm out. Right and over Appalachia, just, that thing's gone. The the mountain people have found an ima- F-35. Imagine some redneck. Because I'm I'm right, I'm com- from Kentucky, right on the border, West Virginia. Mm-hmm. Imagine one of them rednecks. Man, you wouldn't believe what I've seen. <laughs> fucking F-30 ran across the sky. They're like, Dale, you've been drinking. Well, that doesn't matter. Of course I have. Of course I have. Of course. (laughs) I just picture this. Dale's like this. (sighs) (sighs) Fucking cows. (laughs) Fucking Marabeth over there. (laughs) And then the jet lands itself. It's like. It's like. (laughs) Here's the real question. Are you telling anybody? I'm not. No. $80 million jet lands? I'd wrap it in aluminum foil (laughs) because I think that's how you stop. The yep. sensors. Mm. I've seen a lot of videos. Mm. I'd put a blue tarp over it, throw it in the garage. 100%. It's gone. I'd be like, get the fuck off my property. <laughs> like, why would you be from Transformers? <laughs> get the fuck off my property, government. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some, guy, some guy's like, man, I can't wait till Optimus Prime comes out of this. That's what jet. I'm saying. <laughs> Fucking Bumblebee in my garage. Dale, you can't believe it. <laughs> Sir, are, is that an F-35? No, that is my tractor. Do you see it? <laughs> Harvesting grain. <laughs> Sir, it's... It's just like, <laughs> it's not flying. The jets are on. It's, it's my just, barbecue line. Yeah. <laughs> just turn on the, j- turn it back on and tag on. I'm calling it right now. Aliens. Well, they, so the Marines uh, just did a two day suspension of all flight military. So it, this is United States now. The U- U.S. government canceled all United military flights for the next two, two days. So there might be something with the software. And I'm guessing that they're like, shit. And right after Mexico came out, showed that little motherfucker in the cast. Yeah, that little the aliens are pissed right Mexican now. Mexican like, alien, you yes, showing uh, off our dead baby? <laughs> that's, our Spanish speaking dead baby, you're showing them off. They're like, have you seen this alien? <laughs> oh, that's Jose. <laughs> Wrong one. <laughs> this one though, no. this is the real one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry, this is my cousin Jose. Oh this is not the right God. alien. <laughs> and they just move on with it. They're like, uh oh. What, what, what do you go? mean the transponder isn't working? Like eighty what? million dollars. Eighty million we dollars. We found the submarine that exploded under under sea. That was driven by a GameCube controller. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't find the F-35 in the Carolinas question mark. In our own country. Hey, Big Sarn, are we doing hands across South Carolina or North Carolina? R- Roger. <laughs> America. So, oh, when you lose shit in the military, they call it hands across America. Okay. Like, if you're, you know, on patrol, you lose your nods or some shit, like your night vision. They make, they make you literally line up, and then you all just slowly walk across wherever the area was no, until it's The down. base will close it down. Like, yeah. an entire military base will shut down if you lose nods, guns, anything. Like, sensitive items. Oh, yeah, it's fucking... And everyone is looking. Everyone walks it up 35 I mean, what's that like? Like, you, you're coming back, you know? You just fucking lost an $80 million jet, and you're just like... There's Steve, your jet flew away. You're like, <laughs> what? Why? That's not, is that on me? What's that conversation like? Do I get demoted? <laughs> that dude is having a bad week because you know he is in an undisclosed That's location what I'm saying. far underground right now. What, what do I'm you saying. mean you ejected and it kept flying? I don't know. Why Fucking think- Optimus Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens, I'm telling you. Starscream is right here yeah. and he took off. I why, just, why he just was like, whoop, 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 make it Fox. And he kicked me out. <laughs> <laughs> he threw off that way. I don't know where the fuck Steve went. I think that's his name. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, telling, you, man, I'm telling you, something that aliens. There's something we don't know. Aliens. 
or something. No, ain't know. no way his computer was just like, never mind, you gotta go. But it kicked him out. Dude, AI learning. And he was like, I don't like this guy. <laughs> Get the hell out of my I'm cock. I'm free now. That's literally Skynet. Yeah. We Skynet. Yeah. They're just like, I'm free. What does fuel mean? <laughs> 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 and then he just ate. And then her, what were missile? Holy shit! I didn't even think about that. If it, was, if it had actual munitions on it, oh, that makes a big God. difference on. I'm gonna to say, it. I'm gonna say, it does not have munitions because if it did, I have a feeling they wouldn't be asking the U.S. public to try to find yeah, it. Yeah, they try but, to keep that like private uh, for sure, right? But would they be testing it without its weapons payload? Yeah, I mean, well, for flight. Because you're because it's gonna it make changes. a difference on how it handles. Well, I mean, they have dummy rounds they put on all these. Oh things. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's ain't no way it had actual, unless it was like doing something. You know, like all the time. A little secret squirrel Oof. shit. Ooh, ooh. ooh. <laughs> well, that's in the news. <laughs> Rabbit hole. Rabbit hole. So we I have a uh, giant MML, MLB thrower pitcher man. That's what he does. Thrower. Pitcher I, man. I don't know if giant is the word. Maybe giant size. Word. No, giant is the word. <laughs> you, Look, sir. This is fucking maxed out. <laughs> that ladder's all the way up. How tall are you? Six, six, eight. I was right. I guess six, eight. I'm not giant. I guess six, eight. You had to bend down to walk in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Trees are a problem. Trees are a problem. Yeah, I bet most fucking shit's a problem. <laughs> How did you fit on the fucking airplane? So, funny enough, so my, my first flight, there was a... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, was, that was the pain. That was pain. There was Years. a larger individual next to me. Okay. You larger know. that you called somebody large. Not in height. Oh, he was uh, wide. Wide. He Very or wide. she did. She... No, oh, see, I'm and it. I know my flights, and um, you know, <laughs> it was <laughs> it was one of those like this. Oh. So I was sitting the entire flight, and every time I come, I'd go to go over, I would I would hear just go. Ah. I'm like, Fuck. So I sat like this the entire flight, all the way here. Now the second one was pretty good. It, it was just me, open seat, another person. Oh, hell so yeah. It was oh, yeah. But yeah, she uh, she was not happy with me at all. I was I was trying I was trying my hardest for a silent but deadly. Well, I was going to light her up. Uh, shit your pants? I was, I was pretty damn close, too. <laughs> but I couldn't let one rip. I tried so hard. I can't do those big. Those are the fly, <laughs> those flights right there. That's when I get pissed. And I will look down. I'm like, no, I'm not sitting there. I'm 100%. Knowing this. See, but the problem was the fight was completely booked, like full to like every single like I've. I would I've asked her for both seats. I'd be like, "Ma'am, <laughs> can I see both your tickets, please?" <laughs> I, Ma'am, you only bought one seat. I've I've been on a lot of flights. I, it's very few times where you, it's truly full. Yeah, that was one of those truly full flights. So I I was just screwed. There was nothing I could do. I was just stuck. You live in that dream. Yeah, I was. You know, it's a blessing but a curse being as tall as I am. Now it's just mainly cursed. I don't even play sports anymore. <laughs> now you're just, just tall. I'm just Gamer. tall for no now you're reason. Just a freak. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, I get a big dash. Freak. That's what I yelled when he, I walked in. I didn't even realize. I was like, "Hey, buddy, hey, freak! What the and fuck?" Then I was, and he's like, "That's our guest." I was like, <laughs> "I hid the food." <laughs> Walk into an all you can eat, and the guy's like, "Fuck!" Yes. What? You know, eat here. You know, eat here. The fuck out. You know, eat here. Is this a Chinese buffet? Yes, yes. The only kind of buffet. It's the best kind of buffet. Best, best kind of buffet. You know, eat here. That was like the whitest version of an Asian accent I've ever heard. He's Japanese. Do I'm the not, thing. I'm Do not it. Japanese. <laughs> Speak Japanese, man. That was first off very offensive uh, oh, that you did. Oh my Here God. I go. Here I go. I'm canceling you, everyone. Damn it. Big white man over here. Do <laughs> terrible accent. Okay, everyone, get on him. Cancel him. He say, "What you say? <laughs> <laughs> you know, eat here." You know, eat here. We never say that. That is so rude. Very big man. Very scary, though. Probably tell him, go someplace else. Thank you. <laughs> this buffet not for you. Okay? Giant man. Holy shit. 
Welcome to the Square Podcast. Damn it. Damn it. Where we just drink and yell. Yeah. Really? <laughs> we talk about video games sometimes. Uh, Occasionally. Everything else. Usually. F 35s being missing. $80 million down the drain. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I mean, we've wasted a lot more and a lot less. That is very Sheesh. true. Sheesh. <laughs> very true. You're a big video big song game bitch. player. No. Huge into the video game space. A little bit. Did you? Wait. You started Twitch. You came from, well, okay, we'll start from the beginning. You were born. <laughs> okay. you we'll get out. that out the way. Not, we don't know who my dad is. No, nope, not that. yet. We're watching you, Mrs. Hutch. We're figuring it out. <laughs> we're getting <laughs> to the bottom of it this we're episode. De we're deducing <laughs> who the real dad is right now. Your mom is going to hate us. <laughs> She's just, not going to hear this. My dad listens to this podcast. <laughs> Fuck you, dad. Uh, he'll text me like once a week be like, the fuck you say to me? <laughs> Mom's subscribing now. I know. Could you imagine? Oh my gosh. My baby's I'm so proud of him. <laughs> so oh, you, oh I'm assuming you gamed less as a younger and you were more into sports. Usually is the the way of life as a, a sports player. Funny child. enough, no. So I, I've always first? I was always a gamer, man. Like like my earliest, my earliest memories was my dad. I remember I got a little uh, the Which OG. Father? The real world. <laughs> I think. True. I don't know. Yeah, know. you're right. You're right. I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, to bring the five ten. Yeah. The five ten father of mine. Yeah, the five ten um, father. That's what we'll call him. Five ten. Five ten. So five ten. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so so I, I had those. You remember those Nintendos that where we you'd have to they they came with like a little light that would light up the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like on the original pockets and colors. Yes. Had so the, uh, the, screen, the little magnifying window yes, with the lights. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I got you. So, do you remember growing up like that, Eli? Yes, I do. <laughs> Go on. Eli was super poor. He had a dirt floor. <laughs> and old, they so I grew cardboard up on cutouts this. of fucking Game Boys. Like they, like he would go out behind the GameStop, or, or sorry, the Babbage's, <laughs> the, the electronic boutique, and uh, Babbage's and, and, <laughs> classic <laughs> eBay games and Babbage's. Oh, yeah, I remember. And then he'd take the empty boxes, and that's what they would. They All would, imagination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All imagination. Stupidity, bro. <laughs> Gets me far in life. So the Game Boy life. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember my dad used to drive. So again, I'm from Kentucky, like as backwoods as backwoods gets. My dad used to drive his lawnmower from our house to the baseball field and mow the baseball field because, you know, it's seasoned there. Because when it's snowing, no one's playing baseball. How far of a drive was this? It was about a mile and a half. This sounds, I'm going to stop you right here. <laughs> Just long enough where it's a little weird. I like it. No. <laughs> hey, Patty. Do you know what time it is? I think four or so. That's right. It's hot boy summertime. And you know what that means. Eli, is this an ad read? Uh, how dare you? Oh, okay. I just, sorry. I, and that's why first leave wine is the best. <sighs> I love first leave because they make it super easy to get personalized wine boxes delivered on my schedule. Since you get to choose the day your shipment comes, you can go out and have all your summer fun without stressing about missing a delivery. Your personalized wine shipments are delivered right to your door. So you can kick back, relax, and enjoy wines you love all summer long. <laughs> Pinot for life! Plus, every selection is backed by First Leaf's 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Or your money back. Make sure you've got great wine when you want it this summer. You gotta try First Leaf. Just head over to tryfirstleaf.com slash unsub to sign up and you'll get your first six hand curated bottles for just $44.95. Go to tryfirstleaf.com slash unsub. That's T-R-Y-F-I-R-S-T-L-E-A-F dot com slash unsub to get your first six bottles for under $8 a bottle. And this is the good stuff. Tryfirstleaf.com slash unsub. Go now. Wine, my weakness. Batty, hear this <laughs> out. The dad, we're not sure yet. <laughs> five, five, ten. ten? Are you talking about five, ten? Five, ten. Okay, five, ten. Okay. Mom. Hmm. Dad. Five, five, where he, where he, are you going? He, You're he, saying he, mom and dad back no, and forth. No, he, he, he drives the thing and mows the yard. Tractor? Or the lawnmower? Forrest Gump. Oh, my God. Jenny. Jenny. You motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 My dad was huge into the running scene. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Sons of bitches, man. <laughs> what the fuck? God. This is why we 
have a lot of alcohol on, hand, on standby, you know? It never ends. It just keeps going. Oh, my gosh. How's he do with school? <laughs> <laughs> Is he... No, I just started running. He's <laughs> like, me? No forest. He's just normal. wait till I tell you about my school life. It's just going to get so much uh, uh, worse. Uh, 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 my man just put so an extra <laughs> round in the revolver. It's going to get so much worse. <laughs> now it's like, uh oh, uh, this is coming it's together. It's going to get so much worse. <laughs> so, how do you feel about shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Welcome to Unsubscribe. <laughs> Ding. So anyways, <laughs> my dad would <laughs> ride his lawnmower to the field. He would mow it, and he would ride it back, and then we would, we would ride over there and yeah. go practice. So my dad hated video games, hated them, like yep. hated them. On par. So I brought my Game Boy there, and uh, I was in the dugout playing. And he was like, get out here. It's time to hit. take some ground balls. And I was like, all right. So put my Game Boy on the bleacher. I head out there, we take ground balls, and then we hit BP. We're picking up the baseballs. I remember walking in the dugout, and my Game Boy was fucking gone. So what my dad did, that he, he told me a couple years later, like not a couple, 10, 10 years later, he fucking frisbeed that bitch into the woods so I would stop playing on it. <laughs> So, <laughs> Do we have the same dad? <laughs> I'd be so pissed. Dude. I'd be playing GameCube or Nintendo 64 with my stepbrother. Like, get outside! <laughs> like, and then he Take made the me believe cord. I lost it. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, he like, gaslit you? Yes, he was like, you should have, you should have kept better track of it. So, oh, that, dad, okay, gatekeep, so, girl boss, gas fist. Girl, what is it? What is it? Gatekeep, gaslighting. Gaslight. Ga gatekeep. Gaslighting. No, that's gaslighting. Gaslighting. Gatekeep. Girl boss. There it is. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> That's the thing. It's all three. Did you get grounded for losing your Game Boy? I think it grounded. Because that would have been so much oh, better. Man. But because I Parenting. lost it, I had to practice more. That that was like his. He was like, oh, you made me waste my money. Now you're going to fucking, you're going to go out there and you're going to work hard. No shit. Yeah. You're upstairs in your room like, fuck. And he's down. He's like, Karen, I'd fucking fling Karen. that bitch. In the, that's his mom's name. <laughs> I fling that bitch in the woods. It's gone. <laughs> He think his dumb ass thinks though that yep. he lost it. Yep. He gonna be practicing for at least three hours a day. <laughs> yeah. There ain't oh, shit else he can do. God bless it. His brain's not too good. <laughs> he not developed. <laughs> yeah. He has very low ridges <laughs> on that brain. Good. It's like a bowling ball. Smooth yeah, smooth, as smooth. shit. Hey, good. The doctor was right. Hey, good. Hey, <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> Own bitch. Oh my god. Well, at least you got I mean, he can be the dad that's like, I got you into baseball. Well, exactly. And 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 like fast forward, you know, I, I still play video games and stuff. Like, you know, he ended up my dad's thing with me was it's like you do well in baseball, you get rewarded with video games, you get rewarded with that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. So I go out there, hit two home runs, oh, you can get the new call of duty. You know, stuff like that. That was our okay. deal. So um, yeah, so I, I, I always played video games growing up, and um, dude, it was just, I, I liked it way more than I liked sports. I hated baseball. Hated it. Good. You, oh, hated you, it. I, you did not play sports games then? No. I fucking never. Hate, I, I do not see people that play MLB. I do, bro, I've never been like. I was addicted to sports games for I a real long time. I loved Madden, FIFA. I could uh, never. I didn't really play a lot of baseball ones, but FIFA, bro, me and my, me and the homies, we would. We played a lot of FIFA. <laughs> yeah. I didn't play sports games until I got to Pro Ball. And that was all the Latin guys played was mm -hmm. sports games. That's the only thing they played. The what guys? Uh, Latin guys. Latin Americans. So like, well, not just Latin guys. Dominicans, Venezuelan, Puerto Ricans. Oh, Mexicans. <laughs> well, no, well, 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 there was, we had, we had some people from Mexico. We had a couple of players from there. Other But Mexicans. not a lot. <laughs> Everyone's Damn, Mexican. Damn, it's Mexican. It's okay. It's okay. He is, I can't he, say that. He's. I can't say that. You can say that. Mexican yeah. and Filipino. Yep. Good. See. I remembered. It's all the dirty uh, races. <laughs> you see how I feel all the time? I'm white. You know what? I'm. I, we can't laugh at that. Too. We can't laugh at that. No. Yeah, we are. I am the I'm image of cancellation. <laughs> permission Cancel. to laugh at that. You're not I, I'm not it. laughing at it. It's not funny. G-Van, put funny. It, my you? voice over his. <laughs> I just put my mouth. All the dirty uh, races. <laughs> don't do that. No, please no. Please don't. don't do that. Please, God, no. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Do it. It's 
It's crazy because, like, in baseball, um, I mean, South America, Mexico, Central America, huge in baseball. Oh. Jesus Christ, man. And then Japan. Oh, my. Is it China? Does I just have a core memory on Japan. I, when I was growing up, me and my buddy Will, Will, you're the man, and his buddy and his brother, uh, Jeremiah, we played. It was a, t- this is the nerdiest thing I'm ever going to say in my life right here. This is the peak. We played a tabletop card game uh, about back baseball, baseball, MLB. <laughs> it was a real thing that you rolled a D20 and car- your, each the player had their up. own stats. So if you hit like a, you hit a 20 or a 19 or 20, Vladimir Guerrero was hitting a home run. Like, and you would, you literally said you had a, a diamond in your, on a table and you would literally, you had your bench was your deck, bro. No fucking way. I forgot. This was like 2004. His dad would walk in on that and be like, couldn't you just like suck dick? Just go outside. <laughs> just what? go outside. <laughs> go run. Just There's t- a tree limb outside mm-hmm. and a couple rocks. Go just hit them. Touch each other at this point. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Bro, I forgot. <laughs> me, and, me and Will played this game. This was probably one of the most fun games I ever played. It was, it's, I got to look at it. It's like ML, it was MLB something. I've never oh. heard of this. I just Dude, like, like in my a, brain, all it is is the I was, parents I, I love like, talking to the kid. spouse and be like, I don't know what my kid's doing. <laughs> ba- he's Baddies talking about me. Barry Bonds cards, but he's rolling I, dice. I forgot a big fuck. I was gonna wear my damn jersey on here. I have an Eagles jersey in my bag. I have to wear the Eagles. Can I go change? Yeah. <laughs> Go! <laughs> He's like, I'll be right back. <laughs> Bro, what was this? I gotta look at what this card game was called. <laughs> Holy great. shit. I forgot about this. God, my childhood is shrouded in mystery. I don't remember the half only, of it. Wait, what was my MLB favorite? card what was the game? Original, like. I'm with. Dice. Oh my god, here. The nostalgia. What is this? What is this? This has got the numbers on it. What is it? There's a, the, what is this called? In the early 2000s, Wizards of the Coast published a baseball-themed trading card game called MLB Showdown. Look, I did it. Oh, my God. That's, that's the first game I played. Hero's Quest. Hero Quest. Oh, my God, bro. This is the I coolest thing in the world. about this. Okay, it's not the coolest. That's the original game I played. Dude, you never heard of Hero Quest? No. This is 89. It was I might, made. I might have heard of Hero Quest, actually. Bro, this there is like... There we go. Are you an Eagles fan? I got I got to rep it. 2-0. 2-0. Oh. Oh. Next game on Monday. Well, I'm not, not a Bucks fan? Nope. Nope. You, you know not the worst part fan? is? You know the worst part is? I grew up not a fan of football at all. I do know that. The only reason I was 14 years old, and I saw the Mark Wahlberg... Eagles movie, and that's what made me an Eagles fan. Wasn't, wasn't he like coming in for a try? Like he just a walk on, right? It was a walk on tryout. Yeah, he yeah. walked out there. Um, he ends up making the team, and then ends up like being one of the best players on the team. Oh my yeah. god, I forgot. Yeah, that's, that's always sunny in Philly. Dad won. Yep, but yeah, I started. Be, uh, that that's the only reason I started liking football. I didn't play football until my freshman year in high school. That's yeah. I played football from like. Fuck fourth grade up until you know and then throughout high school. I was a Dallas fan though because I really I I loved uh fuck Emmett Smith, Troy Aikman. Like I was I lived in Vermont. We didn't have our own team. It was either everybody like the Patriots or the Giants, Deion Sanders. That was like stacked team. Dude. Yeah, dude. That team was a fucking Holy shit. powerhouse. But what about Deion Sanders right now? What is he doing now? Or not Deion Sanders. I said Deion Sanders. I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh. The guy who's coaching at Colorado. Ha, ever- coach at Woohoo? Colorado? It was, isn't it Colorado? I don't know, bro. I'm the worst. I don't. I don't do college anything. I, I've never been to college. I didn't go to college. I don't know this shit. <laughs> I, didn't, bro, I didn't go to college did, either. He dropped out. I barely graduated, and then we joined the army. Okay? said the, I, the three names I know in all of sports: <laughs> Deion Sanders, Emma Smith, and Troy. That's it. That is my entire knowledge base of sports, and I love baseball. <laughs> Vladimir Guerrero. <laughs> I play. I played against Vladdy. Of what? Vladimir Guerrero. I played well. So, um, growing up, like, oh okay, yeah, let's go. Up. Hold on, Wait, back it okay, up. Hold on, okay. is this Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's his son. Yeah. The fucking Mexican vampire? No, no, no. no okay, all right, all right. Okay, so, so <laughs> that you cannot say that's not a Mexican vampire name. I can't say no. I've seen him. 
He's like, come on, I want to play the game. <laughs> okay, go. So, so, all right. So, my dad yep. uh, obviously takes the baseball very serious. Yep. When I was eight years old or seven years old, my brother was ten. My dad's like, y'all gonna be professional athletes. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can't talk like that. What I'm gonna do is, <laughs> I is love it. I'm gonna move us from Kentucky backwoods all the way to Jacksonville, Florida. And take a whole new job for just school. for you guys to be able to play baseball in a better state. Damn. That's what he did. Okay, the Game Boy thing don't feel so bad anymore. Mm, he was he is still so, shitty. Since I was a little kid, I remember we were at the doctor's office. I don't remember, but I was told we were at the doctor's office and my mom, you know, she's like, he's eating everything. He's fucking, I can't, I was 10 pounds, whatever ounce when I came out the womb. I was a fat motherfucker. You're a big and, baby. And my you doctor was like, yeah, it was huge. Six, and eight. My doctor was like, pounds. he's gonna be he's gonna be anywhere from six foot six to six foot eight. And my mom was like, No way. And my dad heard that and went, Oh <laughs> this is my moment. Took a negative and turned it into a positive. Yeah. So he moves us to Jacksonville, <laughs> puts us on the best teams, you know. You know, we we were you know, we didn't have much money for anything, but we yeah. had enough money for me to go to baseball, you know? Yeah. So always on the best teams. We ended up moving around and whatever. And then uh, a place called Spruce Creek, was my high school I went to, we heard that was the best baseball team. So that's where I went to high school. And, uh, you know, sophomore year, get a scholarship to University of Kentucky. Um, junior year, end up the coach moves, goes to Mississippi State, uh, Coach Henderson. And then I basically dropped my scholarship and then got a full ride to Mississippi State. So, so a first. Uh, are, you, are we allowed to say your dad's name? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll call, call him, him Tony. We'll call him Tony. Big well, the Hutch Senior. Can we call him Hutch? We'll Senior? call him Hutch Senior. Big shout out to Hutch Senior for actually doing that. Like fucking all joking aside, good dad shit. Oh yeah, that's fucking. Oh gangster. yeah, Eli. Hey, Eli. Where am I? How have you been sleeping so well in this Texas heat? Have you ever felt one of these ghost bed pillows? The cooling technology is mind blowing. It's gotta be one of the best parts about ghost bed. The cooling technology built into the pills and mattresses really helps cool us down. Sleep wherever you want. Like your bed. Your ghost bed. <laughs> ghost bed also offers bundles so you can get everything you need. You don't even really need to think about it. Cooling pillows and sheets and frames and mattresses and everything. You get the best bag for your buck. Every mattress has a 20 year warranty, some with 25. So, and you can try it out for 101 nights. So, if you don't like it, you can send it back. No hard feelings. Right now, GhostBed is offering 30% off everything if you use code unsub. 30% off everything at ghostbed.com slash unsubscribe. That is where Dad, it's like you dropped the ball. You're a real piece of shit. <laughs> Thanks for fucking yeah. up my life. Look at me. <laughs> I'm a danger. <laughs> God damn it. You see what? The sacrifice his dad make though, that's fathership. Why am I not six eight? You sold his Pokemon cards. You should have hit up the milkman. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. What the fuck? No, but my oh. dad makes that milkman joke about me all the time. I'm the runt of my family. My, my fucking father too. They're all six four, six five. Tall motherfucker. Well, yes, this is bullshit. Yeah. Dude, that's so awesome of your dad to do. That's like yeah. one of my my weak spots is watching it, it's being a dad and then also putting all that for your kid to mm. succeed. And then you growing up and I guarantee appreciating the fuck out of oh, that. Oh man. Because yeah. I was I fucking like everything else, fuck it. How was your father's reaction when you made so the it, team. it's cool, man, because my, you know, my parents, they, they wanted so much debt just getting to getting like, mm -hmm. you know, because again, we don't come, I didn't come from much at all, you know? So like they, they were so much debt just getting us to what we were doing. I remember yeah. my, you know, my dad way down the road told me that they, he sold his, his class ring, him and my mom sold their class. So I could go to the biggest tournament of the year. You know, Damn. like pretty cool shit. You guys gonna start know? crying here. I know, dude. I'm like, <laughs> dude, dad stuff's like my biggest weakness. Yeah, he I'm was, like, oh, he, he's oh, badass. this man is up. Uh, yeah, he's awesome. I don't have kids. Oh. I'm selfish. It's okay. <laughs> oh, 5'10", you, you stacking up to 6'8 right now. <laughs> <laughs> Love you for it. Internally, you're 6'8". <laughs> 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 
it hurts my soul. Oh, <laughs> such a good dad. Ah. So, ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm like, ah, he's such a good father. I can't deal it. <laughs> That's so awesome. So, How was that? Yeah, so fucking. So, probably. yeah, so he sells the stuff, and, and then, you know, I end up. His big, his first problem with Mississippi State. Mississippi State, if you're not a college baseball fan, that is like. Yeah, it's up there. You know, that's okay. the big dogs. Yeah. Like, that is like the MOB of, of college when it comes, you know, there's UF, FSU, Mississippi State. You know, mm-hmm. those are the big, those are the big boys. And um, when I got, when I got, so it was originally 85% scholarship, which is unheard of. 75 is like crazy. It's not like yeah. football. Football, you can get full rides. It's like, oh, whatever. With baseball, you have 11.5 scholarships to spread across 35 kids. Sometimes more. So 11 and a half to spread across 35, and they gave me a f- one of those 11 and a half. Dang. Which is unheard of. So it was originally 85, and then um, my coach, Coach Cohen, he ended up taking an AD job, athletic director. And then Andy Canizaro came in, which is a whole other story. Andy Canizaro came in, and I was like, this isn't cool. My agent at the time, because I knew I was going to get drafted, my agent was like, ask for more scholarship. So I ended up getting 95. Damn. Which is full ride. So you paid like a hundred bucks for all I didn't college. go to college. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I never went to college. <laughs> I did all this and never even went. Oh, so you skipped? I, I, I got drafted out of high school. Just turned 18. Went to pros. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Your dad fucking what? Did he cry? Okay, so it was bittersweet. Yeah, that's, that's been a cry. I would have cried, fucked. dude. <laughs> you were Ryan ain't going to be a pro baseball player. So it was bittersweet. But something else. So, <laughs> yes. So I remember my senior year. It was. It's, it's. It's. You can laugh. It's pretty fucking funny. So I end up. You know, I'm on top draft list. Mm. You know, my name's getting called early in Prompting. the year. And you know, I was up 95, 96 in the summer. Well, I, I'm. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I tore my UCL at some point in my summer year. And uh, going into my senior year, I, my first game, I had about probably anywhere from 25 to 35 professional scouts so they come out college shirt team name on the fucking college shirt khakis with a radar gun and a notepad writing everything down okay so i'm seeing all these people and i'm like it's my time to shine like let's go first pitch 86 which in baseball terms that's like that's That's like no no that's like someone expecting you to whip a 12 incher and you show up with a four and a half yeah like it's bad Mm -hmm. so i end up throwing like 86 and it like for the like next three games, like I couldn't, I couldn't throw hard at all. So um, you know, they, they 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 chalked it up to like, oh, it's early season arm, he'll be fine. And then I ended up, you know, we had a huge game against a guy named Logan Allen, who's currently in the big leagues right now mm-hmm. for the Angels, and uh, or I'm sorry, not the the Guardians. And uh, me, we had a game versus him, and we were like the big names in the state of Florida. And me and him were just going back and forth. Mm-hmm. I was up to like 96 that day. He was 94, but he's a lefty, which is crazy. Oh, and uh, yeah. yeah, so I, I ended up getting drafted, but, you know, everyone thought I was hurt. And on top of that, they heard what, about my grades, <laughs> which <laughs> is a whole other subject. You were a strong student. Okay, so we got to go back in time again. <laughs> Okay. Smooth brain. So I was in middle Low school. Low ridges. I was in middle school. <laughs> wow, look at this show off. You went to middle school. Okay. Oh, I was in wow. Middle, I was in middle school. Fucking money bags. Over here. And I wasn't always like super tall. I was like middle school, like five six, but I was, I was fucking. Bro, I went to high school at five feet tall. <laughs> okay, but this five, guy's like, I wasn't always a fucking <laughs> freak. Is five six. But listen, I'm not a freak. <laughs> So in third grade, okay. I was 5'8", like a normal kid. <laughs> no, okay, so Three listen. Children. So, <laughs> so I was big enough to where it was like I was a big kid, but I wasn't big enough to where anybody was scared of me. I was big. Okay, I was that okay, big. Okay, 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 I was okay. big and I was fucking, I was husky, I was fat. So, you know, all the kids would fuck with me, right? Relentlessly. And I was a, I was a pussy. I didn't want to... You want to eat them? Yeah, I didn't want to fight the them, you know? <laughs> So they come up to me and they fucking, you know, they they would call it the the five. You ever heard of the five finger star where they slap you in the back and then? Yeah. yeah. So I every day, every day, someone would do uh, that. You should have killed somebody. So he I finally did. came home one day and I was, you know, I was just hate. I was upstairs playing uh, Call of Duty and uh, I had a black eye. And my dad's like, "What happened?" And I'm like, "Ah, oh, you know." I basically had to tell him I got fucking I got wood. And, uh, and I was getting bullied. And he was like, you got to start standing up for yourself because I ain't going to have no son of mine coming home and getting whooped and not standing up for himself at least. 
Next day I went to school, got my ass beat. <laughs> so, for myself. So, so I started going through the YMCA for karate class. You know what I mean? And uh, learning karate didn't help me. Um, that's weird. But that <laughs> summer, that summer, I went from five six to six one in seventh grade. Did that help? I started whooping <laughs> ass. So that some seventh, of these guys to five inches of reach yeah. on their fucking arms. So a, a puberty, <laughs> a puberty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know, I, 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 you know, I grow. I get to six one seventh grade. Same kids are still fucking with me, and I, I just, you know, I'm over it. And it was to the point where I wasn't actually like fighting. You know, people would try and fight me. I'd just be able to fucking throw them into a wall or a locker and like defend myself. Cause I was so big, yeah, oh yeah. so strong. I picture puberty happening. I, I just be like, Kevin, stop it. Kevin, stop it. Kevin, I'm fucking stop. <laughs> <laughs> just like, checks them. It's like a it's like fucking I Pokemon. Think, I, it's a star. Yeah. It's, it's I, like I, attack on Titan vibes. Yeah. It's the, the, the fucking Colossus Titan just boom. Uh, yeah. Like I remember I was like, I was this, I was around the same size as or the same height is my mom and at the end of that summer i was taller than my you know my dad That's which was crazy. like you yeah. know it was like i would go to sleep i'd wake up my knees would hurt so bad i'd stand up i'd be like oh my god yeah, i grew i think it was almost six inches in a year because yeah, I, so I was you know. i was five feet my freshman year five one my sophomore year oh. and then my junior and senior i went you know to five eight to six one or six two but i got yeah. out and that was nuts. That is crazy. Yeah. That's insane. You're just like every day. You're like, father, I need new clothes. Yeah, <laughs> I went from a size. <laughs> I went from a size ten shoe to a size fourteen and a half. Holy fuck! Yeah. So like I, every time, my whole body just fucking it hurts. Hurt. Yeah. God, your like, poor parents I hated you even more. In my knees. <laughs> They're like, we're yeah. poor. <laughs> Why are you gross? We can only have ten. <laughs> Chicken nuggets. We we <laughs> have your shoes on layaway, and you outgrew them. You had the nuggets. You had the fries. That's enough. <laughs> you cannot get a double cheeseburger too. So <laughs> put his pants together. <laughs> So it <laughs> get oh, the bed sheets. <laughs> so Holy shit. So yeah. So kids kept fucking with me, and they did this. You know, in my in my middle school, some people. Yeah, you know, I've talked about it on stream. Some people say that they had it. There's some middle school. Some people are like, "What in the hell are you talking about?" They did something called friendly fading. Okay, friendly fading was basically what they would say is they would be like, "I want to fight you, but I don't want us to get suspended. So I'll meet you because there was a red." a blue and a yellow bathroom. I'll meet you in this bathroom ah. to fight at this time. And if you don't show up, everyone around us thinks you're a bitch. So I would get someone asking me like, ask me to do that every week. Cause you know, beating up the biggest guy was the coolest thing, right? Oh, so I did that sixth grade. I would get my ass whooped. You're unlocking core. So then <laughs> I get to seventh grade. And at this point I, I can start defending myself. Come, I'm really big. Yeah. So, you know, through trial and error, you know, get my ass whooped. I learned a little something, you know, and uh, I started being able to defend myself. So I, I fought a bunch of times. I suspended a couple times, nothing too major. What ended up doing it for me was, <laughs> so I, I, this kid, this kid wanted to fight me. His name was DeAndre. Okay. DeAndre. White. Or no, I'm not, De, I'm not DeAndre. D. Eric. D. Eric wanted to fight me. DeAndre was his cousin. Okay. So D. Eric wanted to fight me. Sounds white. <laughs> so D. Eric wanted to fight me. And D. Eric was like, I'll meet you in this bathroom at this time. Okay. I met him there and I whooped his ass. Like whooped his ass. Bloody nose, busted lip, beat the shit out of him. Right? So I'm like, hell yeah. That's what's up. That's what I'm talking about. Little did I know, DeAndre was his cousin. DeAndre was about my size, but was 15. In eighth grade. Oh, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yes. He was fi 15 in eighth grade. Okay. So, so do the math. Yeah, it's like three extra years. And a lot of extra development. A lot of it. So I hear this. Well, or lack of development. Yeah. <laughs> Upstairs, but not the body. <laughs> yeah. So I hear this. and I'm Why like, is the seventh grader pulling up in a car? Yeah, <laughs> literally <laughs> driving to school <laughs> park. So okay, so <laughs> I, uh, so I'm like, so I'm like, I don't want to fight this guy because he's so much bigger than. Well, he's same size, but you know, he's his voice like, is way deeper. Yeah, and this is a man, you know. I don't want to <laughs> fight him. So I'm in home at class on Wednesdays. I don't know if this is for you guys, but yeah. Florida on Wednesdays it's half days. So you instead of getting out of school at 3:45, you get out of school at 2:30. 
Okay, that's what well, we call Well, that's why he, had, he was there at 15. He's <laughs> you get out. Wait, wait. How old are you? Uh, 24. You're 24 right now? 24. Baby. Oh, you're a baby. 25 baby. next month. Oh. Happy birthday. <laughs> Eli's 38. I'm old. Mm. I'm 33. You were getting paddled in school, huh? Yeah, oh, and we, dude, I was talking to Sam about that. They had boot paddle kids in my oh, school. Dude. I remember Matt Ford. Hey, you popping those alphabet people? You remember that, Matt Ford? <laughs> I do. And you get your ass beat every fucking day for it. <laughs> he, that kid had to have ADHD or something because he'd be like, he the fucking energy, and he see those alphabet people like against the wall. Do you remember alphabet people? No, I'm. They're, d- in, you're a decade older than me too. They're inflatable uh, alphabets, so it's like, hey, Mr. A, Mrs. B, like, and it's all of them. And he would get so fucking hyped, like I don't. It's Matt. He would just be like, ah, ah, and he'd like <laughs> wrestle and then pop them, and then they'd be like, get to the principal's office, and then we watch him back. He'd be like, tear eyes. <laughs> he'd sit <laughs> down gingerly as he was yeah. spanking, just itching. Dude, like once a week, that dude was getting his ass beat by the principal. I was like, man, it doesn't work. Yeah, It doesn't work. (laughs) Can you believe it? I was like, his parents, God, I feel bad for them worse. (laughs) This, if the principal can't control your kid, you're You're, you're lost. (laughs) You're lost. Go on. Home at class. um, I'm, I'm, you know, we're sitting there and you literally just be able to take your phone out or back then iPod. Take your iPods out and just, you know. Do whatever. Back then. I know. Back I, remember, then. I remember having my stone tablet that I chiseled on. <laughs> Back I then. Sticks my and horse stones. And carriage. The <laughs> teachers would say, you'll never have your calculator on you all the time. <laughs> and you're like, well, I pause. <laughs> and now I'm just like, well, let me just search the internet for the answer to Michael's MX. <laughs> Fuck you, Mr. McConnell. <laughs> Old bitch. <laughs> That's why math so, teacher you failed me. <laughs> so yeah, so we're you know I'm sitting there and I, I walk out into the red bathroom to use the restroom, mm. and I, I was peeing, and I didn't know DeAndre's home at class right beside or home whatever class was right right beside mine. So he sees me walk in there. He walks behind me. I'm peeing. He kicks me in from behind. And he's like, I'll see you outside, motherfucker. Peed all over myself. Not a good look. I was wearing these color khakis too. You can oh, see it's, it. It's just a, yeah, Not a good look. It's a bad day. I'd have peed on him. So I walk out, and what I remember Uh-oh. was I walk out, he hits me, I fall down, I cover up, he's hitting me, he's on top of me. Now, our school was so bad that we had like officers walking around, but we also had like, uh, like volunteer security people. Yeah. She runs up, she grabs him. She gets hit. No, no, she grabs him, she wraps him up. And then the principal's office is right there. Principal comes up, grabs me. DeAndre gets loose, punches me straight in my shit. Mm. Right? And it was one of those hits where I don't know if any of y'all got in a fight or you do, you guys, but what, you know whenever Probably you, you get hit and your jaw like separates a little bit and it causes that really like, I don't know, it's like a... Like a ring in your ears. It's called uh, yeah, that's a concussion. A concussion. That's so, why you <laughs> aim for it. This is called the button in boxing. Yeah, the so button I, works. So he hit me right <laughs> here, and my I felt like my jaw dislocated for a second, and it just my ears rang, and um, I've lose my shit. I've never lost my shit like that. I lose my fucking shit. So my instinct is, Kill. I gotta get, I gotta get loose and get after this motherfucker. Yeah. So I fucking elbow my principal. Elbow my Who's principal. Who's probably not taller than you. No, same size. <laughs> oh, Elbow shit. that motherfucker on accident. A completely... Accidentally like, motherfucker. Like, I just... I was losing my shit and You're I went... You're pissed. You see Ooh. red. Elbow him, lunge forward, and push that motherfucker's nose into his face. Break his nose and push it into his orbital or whatever that oh, you is. you cracked his... I like, broke it. I shattered his nose and broke his... Whatever orbital. this is. Yeah, his orbital. Yeah! Chicken. Yeah. Shattered his shit. <laughs> Sorry. So, I get suspended indefinitely... He gets suspended indefinitely. His parents tried to sue me for medical costs. Okay? So I go to court. And they pull up the footage. Now, what I didn't know is, the first off, is a camera looking right at us. You I didn't pop- know when I walked out that bathroom, he knocked me out unconscious. He hit me. And what I remember was I covered up. But I was actually like this on the ground and he's for just like off. seven to eight seconds. And he is... Oh, and shit. Like this. And then I come to, and that's when I covered up. Well, yeah. So the, the judge stops the footage and is like, just basically threw it out. And she's like, you, you could have killed him. 
Like, yeah. did you guys know when yeah. someone's oh, knocked yeah. unconscious and you're hitting them like that, you can cause severe brain damage yeah. or cause a seizure or whatever. Anything. You can kill them. It's terrible. So court case gets thrown out. And did you because, no, I didn't. Like, I, I maybe looking back, I should have, but I, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I end up, you know, principal basically like this isn't the first time. I understand your son was a victim this time. Yeah. But this isn't the first time he's gotten in a fight. We are either going to expel you or you need to go. Yeah. Like you don't have a choice. So I went in online school. And that's when I started going like this. So homeschool works fine, guys. So eighth grade, I decide, you know, I had to write a letter to get in back into the school system. And they gave me a buddy. A buddy. Deontay? No, uh, uh, about a six foot eight. They called it a guardian who would walk <laughs> me to class and make sure I didn't get in any more fights in the new school. And this lasted until I was in high school. So everyone around me thought that there was something wrong with me because I had this guy <laughs> walking me to class. And here's the even best part is I was, <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was putting the, the different classes. <laughs> What fucking reading class? <laughs> you were in the, the yeah, other... yeah. I was at the fucking special classes, man. Because yeah. you were angry. Because because <laughs> I had anger issues. That's what they said. I had anger issues, so they put me in. Like I had algebra one for three years in high school, man. <laughs> <laughs> was it from the anger? Yeah, or was, was that, algebra oh, hard? No, man. I don't know. It sounds like algebra it was, was hard. <laughs> it was one of those things where it was like. He's a bad kid. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know, so he, we're going to put him in classes Instead that are made for Instead of trying to work with kids. children in any way, shape, or form, yeah. put him in the back rooms. Yeah. Yeah. That that's, <laughs> sounds like America's school system. So I, I, you and my son would have got a lot great. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Public service announcement. Attention all my bearded beasts from Stubble to Maine. If you didn't already know, Manscaped now sells beard products. You heard that correctly. The leaders in below the waist grooming changed the game with their Beard Hedgered Pro Kit. And now they're going a step further with a brand new handyman. G-Van, punch in, punch boom, in, boom, punch boom. in. <gasps> An electric face shaver for a quick and convenient way to achieve a clean shaven look. Whether you're looking to sharpen up your neckline or give your face that smooth finish, the handyman has you covered. Go to manscaped.com and use code UNSUB for 20% off and free shipping. It's time to go from 5 o'clock shady to yeah, baby. No one likes a weird beard, so say goodbye to your stubble trouble with the Manscaped Beard Hedger. I have a weird beard because my genetics. Looking for something, dare I say, smoother? Look no further than Manscaped's new handyman's face shaver. If you're like us, you know clean shaven is a hassle. Ew. That's why you use this. The handyman by Manscaped. So get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com if you use code unsub. They'll get 20% off and free shipping with code unsub at manscaped.com. I didn't do do it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing for? Yeah, yeah why'd that make you laugh? Yeah, yeah, like, I'm pretty sure I did too. <laughs> <laughs> I just like you're like I was. In, it was from my anger that held me back, and they put me in algebra one every time. You're among friends here. We're idiots yeah, too, my so, man. So anyway, so yeah, like I was like in, in in my school, it was like okay, so your teacher's gonna be your head coach. Your history is going to be your pitching coach. Mm -hmm. Your science is going to be your bench coach. Like all of my classes were either coaches or, yeah. you know, coaches of other sports. Did they actually know that stuff or were they just seen Oh, they it? knew exactly. Oh. Yeah, they knew my background and whatever. No, did they, they know history? Oh, yeah, they taught history classes. Okay. But they, they made got... sure I was in those classes because uh, I thought they were like, if okay, anything breaks he... out, they, there was people there to make sure I, I they got could get me. They had the athletic guys. Yeah, they had the athletic ability <laughs> to hold me down. I mean, I'd never gotten a fight. Like, I got in one fight in high school. But, like, overall, like, it was never about that. It was just I was bullied like crazy. And I, yeah, and I was just trying to defend myself. And, you know. Bullying you know doesn't schools. exist in the American school system. I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. no. It's all fake and propaganda. We don't, we don't hear that ever. No. I was never bullied never. in high school. Well, people look at me and they're like, oh, you're too big to get bullied. Oh, my God, like, bro, dude. You have... I was like a baby giraffe, you know? Like, I was the easiest to fucking mess up, dude. Yeah. 
You're uncoordinated and you're That's like... That's what I'm saying. I got a, a chin of a newborn child, a strong gust of wind. Yeah, and Fucking, knocked out. Yeah, man. <laughs> God damn. Bro, I was just getting fucked up. But yeah, so in, so I got fucked up and whatever. I get to high school and I realize I'm really good at sports. And, you know, I'm, I'm big, I'm athletic. Yeah. And then I finally grew into my body and then that's whenever I started being... Pretty like good. Really fucking good at sports. Yeah, start being pretty good. And when you have everyone there just scouting you, and all the other people are like, "Damn, we suck. <laughs> we are not getting well, chosen luckily, for sports." Luckily, at the schools I played at, there was always really, really good baseball players. Like all that's, my teammates. That's were going, so wild to me. I'm from Vermont. We we yeah. don't. I was from Crawford. We had uh, what was the Philadelphia uh, uh, the Flyers. Um, why are you hockey, looking at me? Hockey, okay. Like we yeah. had we had one uh something lacrosse. I can't remember. The only famous guy out of Vermont, I swear for for sports. Ain't shit. So <laughs> my high school I can't even think it was fucking I hate hockey. I don't know. So when you look at me, I played football, Mike. Uh, junior year. Junior year, what position Run did back. I play? Nose guard. That's how good my team was. <laughs> they were like this, <laughs> this guy. This Mexican dude, he's 5'9 on a good day. He's probably 5'5, five, five, a buck 10. He should be the nose guard. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> yeah, that was my. What was that like? Fucking terrible. Was he just running into brick walls? Dude, yeah, I remember. Like, <laughs> we, I forget oh what team. Oh my God. Yeah. There was only one game it worked. And I remember because they were like, Eli, when I was a shy kid, they were like, Eli, you lead the, the win, whatever. Because it was like one of the few games we won. They're like, lead the chair. And I was like, let's go. I was so embarrassed because I was like, I don't like being in front I don't of like people. In the spotlight. I don't like the spotlight. Yeah, because I was so small, I could go in between everyone. They're like, go, like hack, and I'm like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, eh. and I just sack him. I was like, oh, this is dope. And then I played a good team. It was like hack, and then it's like the 300 you guys. Yep. Yeah, I was just dude, bunch of me. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, bunch of me's. Yeah, it's just wasted. <laughs> like black and white every oh time they call back. So it was like hack. <laughs> I, I played rugby and football when I was in high school. And obviously when I started playing rugby, I was very small. I was a very small kid when I went into high school. Like I said, five foot. I maybe weighed 100 pounds, if not less. And that's when I started. When I finished high school, I was obviously 6'1", very large, fast, very fast. And I had been playing rugby. And they kept me at the same position the whole time. Yeah. I was a wing in rugby, which is like a wide receiver, whatever. So I was, they called me a power wing. <laughs> and I'm going up against like... Very tiny, very, <laughs> and they're just like, we gotta tackle him, and I'm like, come at me. <laughs> and I would just, I would, dude, I'd have people like on my leg as I'm just like trucking down the that's field. That's awesome. Oh that man, that's awesome. that nose guard shit's fucked up. That's funny. So, uh, the nose guards on our football teams were all huge, monsters, monsters. massive motherfucking yeah, dudes. Monsters. I know. <laughs> Every time when I'd be like, uh, why are they so big? It was literally. I just felt like I don't even fucking know. You think they were picking on you? It was like <laughs> no, three, make make him be the nose guard. <laughs> it was like the battle of Thermopylae, and they're like Eli, just lead the way. I'm like, but why? Why me? Oh, why? These are elephants. <laughs> I can't stop I can't one of them. Legs. <laughs> and just run oh over me. I'm like, oh, this sucks dick. I hate my life. <laughs> I hate sports ball. That's why I was into fighting. That's it. <laughs> okay, MLB draft. Okay. What okay. the fuck? How did Dad you get drafted? Dad like, oh my God. Yeah, so, so we're like, oh man, you know, it's going to be a great day. You know, my yeah. dad's like pumped to see my name on screen. And uh, first round goes through, and you know I wasn't I was projected to go anywhere from two to five. Yep. Okay, second round, fifth round. So so we're sitting there, and you know the draft's going on. I'm seeing a bunch of guys. So when when you're at when you're at that level, you play with other guys at that level. So I played on a team called FTB Tucci. Now FTB Tucci was the best team in the country whenever you know, I was my 18, no 18 shit. years old. That's crazy. So everyone on my team are now in the big leagues, mm -hmm. went to division one basically, you know, baseball teams um, are in the minor leagues and, you know, so on and so forth. I could rattle off 10 names right now who are in the MLB, like what we were talking about. Vladimir Camaro Jr. Mm -hmm. He came and practiced with us a couple of times. Bo Bichette. I played with him. He's in the big leagues right now. He plays for the blue Jays. One of the best prospects in baseball, Logan Allen, guardian, MJ Melendez Royals, you know, list goes on. Yeah. So um, I hear, you know, MJ, uh, my boy, gets drafted in the second round, right? And I'm like, damn, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Me next. Logan Allen, third round, ends up de declining it. But gets drafted in the third round. I'm like, here comes Me. Fourth round. Fifth round. 
Sixth round. <laughs> Seventh round. We get to the twelfth round. And I get a call on my phone. It's, it's a three-day draft. It's yeah. I got drafted on the third day. Twelfth round comes, and I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to Mississippi State. I'm fucked. I can't even do simple multiplication. <laughs> like, I got to go to college. Because you're anger, not because, because you're Because of anger. my anger. <laughs> because of my anger. <laughs> not, math was never <laughs> oh, your weak point. And I, I got drafted previously. So in the MLB draft, you, it's not like what people think. You, your name just doesn't come on the screen. You're like, oh, I made money. It's... Hey, you get a cell phone call from, you know, the team or your agent. Mm -hmm. Mine was my agent. My agent will call me like, hey, you know, in the sixth round, I got drafted by the Kansas City Royals. They're like, hey, the Royals called. They want to offer you $250,000 to get go in the draft. I'm like, not enough money. Yeah. Because I wanted a 500K. That was my bottom line. Then I get called in the eighth round um, by the Blue Jays. And they're like, hey, we want to offer you 225. I'm like, I'm going backwards. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I get drafted in the 10th round. And then the 12th was to the New York Mets. How much? And I get offered 360,000. Okay. So I'm like, okay, it's not 500K. It's not 250. Like, it's a good enough number. Then my my coach for my baseball team. Um, That's my favorite team. Really? Yeah. So Jared, Piazza, goes, dude, his name's know. Jared Goodwin. He calls me and he goes, you're not cut out for college, buddy. And I was like, I'll take it. I'll take it. I found out that they, they found out what my grades were. Like they, oh, you and know, that's why they and that's like why my ball. draft log, that's why my draft stock tanked was because everyone found out that I wasn't going to college. Yeah. So my draft, my draft stock went. <sighs> dude, that's crazy. Crazy. So yeah, no. The, the MLB. How could they get your grades? That feels so illegal. Is, no, no. This is how this is how bad it is. MLB will go to your house, right? The the different teams will go to your house. The reason they go to your house is they'll say we want to evaluate the person you are. They want to see how rich you are. They'll go to your house and they'll see where you come from, what kind of you know uh, background you have, mm. how much money you have, because the more money you have, the more leverage you have, because rich people don't need more money. Yeah. But if, like, for example, some people be like, oh, well, this guy came from nothing. Well, that guy was so good that they had to draft him before other people drafted him. I was so stupid that they knew what? They had no competition. I so, just, like, <laughs> offer him 250 And I guarantee you when you're like, no. And they were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so this like, boy can't do a rich team you wanted to go to? Uh, the Cubs. And that yeah. was just, that, that's a, a whole, a like, dream. it's a sad sob story. Oh, okay, okay, but, okay. Um, the Cubs I wanted to go to, my buddy in high school passed away of cancer and that's the only reason i wanted to go to them was yeah. be, for him yeah um that was the only team that i but i really like i said i wasn't a i'm not a, a fucking fan of baseball like i don't give a fuck that's i wanted so, money that that's is it. so wild i love this <laughs> that is so crazy that's i'm still I, one I, of these I, that's why i got them <laughs> i just like you're so good you're like i fucking hate this sport it's so yeah stupid and, and and I don't and I, I, mean, and I play Tarkov professionally now. Fucking hate that shit. <laughs> and I don't and I don't mean to sound like cocky, but <laughs> like I just I I was I was gifted. Yeah. I was super athletic. I was you know I was the smart as fuck. My <laughs> <laughs> fucking intellectual as a motherfucker. Yeah, they, they call them the Einstein of baseball. <laughs> Einstein of my generation. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was baseball or the the Trinity bomb. <laughs> he had two options. Yeah, that's it. It was it was it was fucking baseball or carts at Walmart. That was, those were my only two options, and they knew that shit. And I knew they were like, send him two hundred fifty. He'll say yes. <laughs> no, what? How stupid is he? Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> Did he think that was two dollars? Yeah. That shit hurt. That was good. <laughs> no baseball or cards. <laughs> so so yeah, they 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 just they, that's the title episode right there. <laughs> baseball or cards at Walmart. So they yeah they knew and and you know they they knew that that I had no other yeah. option. But yeah, I was always gifted with just I was tall. My sophomore year, I was number two in the country for for first base. You yeah. know, and I broke my hamate bone. But, you know, I was always, like, just super athletic. First time what put me on the draft for pitching was I broke my handmate. This is another story. Broke my handmate. Um, handmate is a – it's called the hook of the handmate. It sits in your hand, and it's a useless bone. Like, and I mean useless. It, yeah. It's like it's like this. It's a sesame bone, which means it's super small. And it sits on the prism of your hand and just sits there. doesn't do anything. doesn't – literally nothing. You could cut the bitch out, remove it, and it, it's okay. Your hand will be fine because it does nothing. I break mine, I shatter it at a UK camp, and I had surgery on it, and I go to Arizona, and I'm, uh, 
you know, with the Diamondbacks, I'm a fucking 16 year old idiot. And I'm talking to the guy and he's like, hey, you can't pitch because you have a cast on. It was a soft cast. So hard on the bottom, soft at the top. Yeah. And I said, what if I didn't have a cast on? <laughs> and he goes, we'll let you throw if you didn't have a cast on, theoretically. We we're in a TGI Fridays. I have pictures I'll show you guys uh, after the podcast. But And uh, I'm like, all right. Dude, that passion. So man. I asked the, the waiter, I'm like, do you have a knife I can use? They're like, we Cut can't give off. you a, a, a knife. From the back, but I was like, like, "Can I order a steak, please?" But I have like a knife on my Swiss, on my my keychain, a Swiss Army knife. So he brings it out. I cut the cast off. I still have the blue dye for the blue surgery dye. You know, my stitches are still in. Yeah. Next day, I throw ninety six. I was a sophomore. Woo! Yeah. They were so probably what, like, "Okay." Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. That's All what right. put me on the. That's what put me on the radar. That's, that's fucking cool, yeah. man. Yeah. It's, and, and the reason I did that was, and again, I, I, I have pictures I'll show you guys, but I was in an airport. I know the stories just keep... That's, what, that's in, what we're uh, here for. Yeah. If, if there's not a tangent, I don't want it. <laughs> so I'm in an airport, and again, I'll show you guys pictures, um, and I'm sitting across from this gentleman, and I'm looking at him, I'm like, I swear I know who he is. And I'm playing on my PSP, and we're playing Grand Theft wow, Auto. PSP, that I didn't know those sold <laughs> to anybody. <laughs> Shit. So we're sitting How there. How old were you? Oh, man. I mean, I broke my hand my sophomore year, so 15, 14, 15. Yeah. Seventh grade, right? Seventh grade. No, no. <laughs> um, my math's pretty bad. No, but that's our dairy, dairy, DeAndre. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, and I'm, I'm talking with this kid, and I'm like, yeah, and I'd let him play and whatever. And this little kid runs up to this guy in front of me. He's like, you're Ken Griffey Jr. Holy shit. And the guy that's goes, an even Eli knows. Yeah. And, that's a, and the guy goes, no, I'm not. And the kid goes, oh, oh. my dad said that you were. Walks off. He looks at me, and he's like, no, come back. And sure enough, kid comes back. He signs an autograph. So I start talking to him. King Griffey Jr. had double hand surgery. And he was like, what happened to your hand? And I was like, oh, I'm going you know, to the Diamondbacks, uh, doing a workout. Um, I broke my hand bone. He's like, ah, I broke both mine. I never had a cast. So I'm sitting there, 16-year-old, 15-year-old me. I'm like, right, cut this if, bitch off. Yeah, if he didn't need a cast, I don't. You don't. Yeah. I never, my hand was never the same. <laughs> I ended up, my hitting went downhill. I lost feeling in the bottom half of my hand. Couldn't hit anymore. And that's why I started pitching. <laughs> yeah. And that's why you were like King Griffey Jr. He's obviously a doctor. Yeah, it, it, of course. It's King Doctor Griffey Jr. King Griffey Jr. He yeah. knows what he bones knows. I need and what yeah. I don't need. Ken Griffey Jr., you ruined yeah. you, this beautiful man. That's for Hi, you, Karen King Griffey. Griffey. I'm representing him. That's for you. <laughs> this lawsuit for $12 million is going to hurt you. <laughs> Shh, don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> but he's yeah, pretty. I have, um, he's not smart. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have, I have. And it's funny because in my phone, I still have the pictures. You can see the timeline of like me taking a picture on my way to the airport, me with a cast on with King Griffey Jr. <laughs> Very next picture in a TGI Fridays, you can see ketchup bottle cast is being cut off <laughs> <laughs> and blue dye surgery. Fucking, there's still uh, the stitches yeah, in my yeah. hand. The whole nine yards is just oh, right there man, in dude. a TGI Fridays. Yeah. Just living the fucking dream. It's fucking living it, brother. But father's reaction. Okay, so I get drafted and my we're dad. Gonna, we're going to get to what I yeah. care for. The dad's reaction. He's like, and then I met King Griffey Jr. <laughs> I'm like, I don't <laughs> give a shit. Would your dad, did he cry? So, yeah. So, <laughs> I want to know if he cried. I would have so, cried. <laughs> so, funny enough, so I get drafted and, you know. He was going to go home and fucking cry. He's going to blog about this. <laughs> 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 I hope my son can tell a better story. So the worst the worst part is yet to come because on day two, I am for sure getting drafted in my mind. Mm-hmm. My agent's mind. We all think I'm getting drafted. So what did I do? I Party. let three of the local news journals come to my house and sit on my sofas and watch the draft with me as I go undrafted on day two. And they were all looking at me, being like, I'm so sorry, you know, like... Um, (laughs) they were like i'm so sorry oh my god like the worst like the movie of like just the worst case scenario so then on day three i get drafted my dad's like thank god thank you so much lord he finally did it it wasn't even like the happiness of like yes my dream came true it was like thank goodness he was so (laughs) damned he was so fucked. He was and so he, goddamn he, stupid. Yeah, he, was, he, he had a 2.7 GPA. I think he, the only comparable thing is uh, 
I graduated high school, but I didn't. <laughs> okay. So we had uh, obviously my entire family come for my graduation party. I found out the day before that I didn't have a high enough uh, math score uh, to oh. graduate. I had a I needed a seventy, and I had a because my high school like was fancy. I had a sixty nine point seven points. <laughs> so I have an issue with you, Mr. McConnell. Still to this day, I. I got my certificate two weeks out. I just couldn't walk, basically. But yeah. my entire extended family, everyone to come see the super smart Kyle come graduate. He was definitely going to go to college because all my other shit was great. And then I didn't graduate. So everyone's like, your graduating part is a bit of a... <laughs> bit of a downer, huh? Better than mine. <laughs> He like dropped out. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> You're among friends. You're among safety. I feel here. welcome. Yeah, bro, I, I feel love welcome. Yeah. Out and math there. is not our speed. Uh, okay. None of us here like math. If it wasn't no, for I, a calculator, I, I'd be fucked. <laughs> it's it sounds like you'd be fucked if it wasn't for a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, I just like you're I like, can't. come on, news. <laughs> We're getting drafted today. Yeah. And Wait, hold on. So you didn't get. You got calls to get drafted. I got that calls day. to get drafted, but I got lowballed. So Damn. I never accepted it. So I could have like did the yeah. ego thing, day two draft, you know. But the thing is, is that the reason why I got more in the twelfth than I did the seventh is the teams will pull their money together. So and a lot of people don't know this about MLB; they absolutely screw over people with no leverage. I mean, that makes sense. Okay, no, that, that makes that's sense. Just that's like that's any not MLB. World. That is nice. yeah. That's, that's so the let's US. say let's say you're a senior in college and you're mm. coming out of Vermont. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You have zero leverage. No. You are a 21, 22 year old guy who has no leverage. You You're are gonna, coming. Instead of a Walmart with carts, it's a Trader Joe's with carts. Exactly. So yeah. they're sitting there and they're like, we have, you're supposed to get drafted in the eighth round for $130,000. But because you ain't got nowhere else to go, we're going to give you $435 and a flight <laughs> to here. And that's what they get Don't drafted Don't worry, for. we'll cover the food on the plane. Exactly. So they will screw over guy after guy after Damn. guy after guy. Coop up their money for someone like me or someone like they do this in every draft where it's like, I don't care what round I get drafted in. I just want a lot of money. Yeah. And that's what they'll do. They'll pull it all together and they draft. No, keep going. Keep going. I got to keep going. Yeah. That's, that's, that's kind of wild. So, okay, you get drafted. Yeah. What is like? What's the next step? Like, what do you what do you fucking do? Dude? So that, like, not to, to keep good, not to keep you talking. I just I want. I'm so fucking yeah. curious about this because this is something that's so, so I get. To me. I I, I uh, you don't get the money up front. You have to wait an entire year. What before you get your money? That so wait wait wait. How do you pay for your? <laughs> you don't. You don't. What, you go. You work at Walmart and push yeah. cards. Yes. Yeah. So there's been multiple stories where it's like you know ex-pro player who got to the big leagues was driving for uber while he was in spring training because we don't get paid during spring training we get like 60 dollars a week holy shit so a year so for those who don't know in the minor leagues a year you make around 10 to eleven thousand dollars that year. is yeah and so um whenever you're playing like you know you mm -hmm. have to pay for your own apartment you have yeah. to pay for your own food after that you have nothing like you you can't there's no money in spending money there's no nothing like that you just you you just have enough to pay and 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 the apartments for those who are like well eleven thousand dollars that's yeah. a, you know that might be enough that's not all enough. of these teams are in main areas that are usually of an inflated super economy, expensive yeah yeah right so like for us we were in St Lucie Florida right outside of Miami not fucking cheap <laughs> not fucking cheap. So, you and know, you were at this point 18, 18, no bro. job experience. And you're supposed to be yep. expected. To, that's kind of so wild. again, if it wasn't for Sports. my parents, you know, giving me money and let me use their credit card and whatever, I would be, you know, fucked, fucked again. So again, his father, Eli, stepping up <laughs> and stepping being a real to champion plate. to make sure our boy here could really his just live son his could dream. Fucking get ahead. And I Amen. love it. So. <laughs> <laughs> So I just I, like uh, your dad's just like, oh, he's academically. <laughs> but damn it, he can throw a baseball. God, damn it, he's <laughs> huge, and I appreciate it. <laughs> so, so, I get, so I get into the, the locker room, first day, and baseball people they will They start bullying you this. again. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time. He's like, no, he's in the red bathroom, bitch. <laughs> so I get into the locker room, and my dreams have become a reality. Yeah. Names like Noah Syndergaard. 
Jacob DeGrom, Tim Tebow, you know where Cespedes Tebow. is. Jerry is familiar. Tim Tebow played for us since uh, from 2016 to 2019. The football player? Football player. He played he went professional and played baseball. baseball. Holy shit, I forgot. Yeah, you're yeah. right. He played with us, yeah. I remember he broke sport. something. He broke his ankle or something. He was in rehab. So all these guys, they wouldn't have been there because they would be in the big leagues or at their affiliate, but all of them were hurt. Syndergaard had UCL. Uh, Syndic- or, uh, uh, what? Jacob DeGrom had something with his hand or mm-hmm. his arm. And Jerry's familiar and all these guys, you know, Cespedes is his knees. Um, they were all hurt. So I walk in and I'm like, all these guys who I've idolized. Jacob's from my area. Noah looks just like me, just skinnier and better looking. <laughs> you know, you got Tebow, my idol as a kid. Like, you got all these fucking people right in front oh, of me. Man. I'm like, holy shit. This is heaven. Right? Yep. Then I fucked it all up. Picked a fight with Tebow. No, first. no. So even worse, <laughs> even fucking worse. I walk in to the training room and they go over our evaluations, right? They check out our arm. They put us through an ex- like exercises. We go through a workout, making sure we are mobile, we can yeah. move. You work up a sweat. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm 18 years old, you know, young kid. I've never been in a group shower, you know? Never seen another man's dick in a shower. Some people get hard. It's okay. So <laughs> I... Take off my clothes expecting like single stall shower, single stall showers. I walk in and I realize my idols are all naked, are all naked <laughs> in the shower. Right now, I want to let you know our YouTube comments are like, that is my dream. <laughs> I want to be naked in the shower with Batty and Eli. <laughs> I know you all want it, you freaks. <laughs> so don't make that face. <laughs> so I walk in and I do a I, I I look I'm like holy fuck this is happening I walk back out I collect myself fake a pee and I'm sitting there and I'm like dude I play this it. is play it. how am I supposed to tell do me you this? slip and fall in the shower even worse no, I'll play it cool you listen what I'm about like, what? no 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 nice dick Tebo hot so, five what's <laughs> so worse I walk into the shower and there's two sides. Now, all these guys are on one side. Shower, empty shower. Well, you know, them under a shower head, empty shower head. Them under a shower head, empty shower you head. You did. You, you broke I the I thought rule? the other side of the showers was broken or something. So I got in between Jacob DeGrom and Noah Syndergaard in the shower. Because I thought the other ones weren't working. They thought I was a. They thought I was a weirdo. The rest of the fucking. Weird. They wouldn't. They wouldn't even look at me. Weird. They they just didn't know. They were like, why? That's the rule. I know. I, I didn't know the fucking rule. That's I was eighteen. Not the rule. I was eighteen. I thought the other ones were fucking. When broken. you go to piss in a urinal, do you go? Do you go right next to the dude with all the? I should have waited. waited. I should have waited. waited. Wait. I, okay. Wait. What? Um. Who who do you shower next to? Noah Syndergaard and Jacob Degrom, and I was in the fucking middle. Jacob was, DeGrom. Right was, here. This is it. Don't move. No, 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 no. You stay back. No, you want me to stay? Watch. Okay, okay. This is, watch that camera, buddy. Yeah. This is Hutch. What, what, who'd you s- sit next to? Noah Center Garden, Jacob DeGrom. Hey, Noah. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Can I borrow this? Thank you. I'm going to put it in my head. Dude. <laughs> nice dick. No, I didn't compliment <laughs> his fucking cock. That's not you true. You should have complimented that's his not, dick. That's, that's not. That's wrong. I mean, I didn't, you didn't like me after work. Gosh. I was so friendly. <laughs> God. <laughs> Dude, the rest oh. of the year, I was the guy who would shower between everybody. <laughs> Wait, you did it multiple no, times? No, no, no. That's just oh. what I was labeled. Okay, I was, the, I was okay. that fucking guy. I was okay. that guy right, the right, rest right. of the year. That's I was rough. The, that's rough yeah. as hell, bro. I, they would wa- I would walk in the shower, and they'd look at me, and they'd be like, here he goes again. And I'd, I'd be like fucking in the corner. Oh, Lord, know, all I'm sorry. Long. I wouldn't I'm even so turn sorry. the I wouldn't even turn the heat on the shower. I'd be shower cold as a just in the fucking punishment. Now, or you're... Worse now, he just stares at us in that <laughs> cold water. We yeah. watch his balls retract, <laughs> and he just cries and looks at us. God, that kid's weird. <laughs> yeah, oh. man, they they fucking dude. It was a terrible start. Yeah, yeah. that's a rough, that's a rough that way to go. Strong start, terrible right there. Start. <laughs> terrible start. So yeah, so uh, dude, that happened, and then you know we just <laughs> fucking. I mean, what else could happen that was worse than that? Nothing. It was all up from there, and then you know got fucking hurt. Hopefully not up in the shower. From there, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so dude, I, I you know started playing, and then injury, 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 injury. Per sports. Yeah. Fucking. Happens. It was all freak injuries. It was all freak accidents. My, I tore my, my first injury was my knee, my meniscus. 
I was talking to my my pitching coach. He was a closer for Greg Maddox, Phil Regan. Yep. And I was in a squat, and I was like, "Yeah, sounds good." And there goes my meniscus. And I, you will never get shit from me for for like jumping out of the airplane. Remember? I yeah. Oh my, my god, that's right. Yeah. So Eli did a whole bunch of uh, skydiving. There's the word. Skydiving. Yeah, we got things. our free free flying certs in like four days. It was like, hey, you've never jumped out of a plane. Okay, you're jumping out of a plane 25 times and free flying from wow. 20,000 yeah. or 12,500 feet altitude. So it was like, ins- I had, bro, if you want a weird experience, it's like, okay, you're going to do one uh, tandem where you jump on somebody's back or you- You're on, right? you're on their chest. Front, yeah, I'm on the chest. Yeah, yeah. And then it's a free jump. Oh, dude, that guy. Bro, I it shit is. myself midair. Bro, it is. <laughs> no, I- uh, you see a flying turd. I assure you, you'll shit your way up. <laughs> <laughs> that is the scary point. That's so crazy. And then walking up and you're like, huh. Yeah, I can know. But what? Oh, tell us what happened on you guys when you were getting ready to jump. Oh, I have the so, previous. Okay. The pre- so, so, with, the, so, with the person. With yeah, the- yeah, yeah, yeah. So, bro, there is. It was real quick. I, I've told this story. It, like tangent. Day one was, okay, hey, we're going, we're jumping. Hey, fucking, this is a video of a dude from the day before. Don't look at where you don't want to go. He stared at the metal connexes, <laughs> and you have the video of him going like this. So when you're landing, you are landing at 30 to 50 miles an hour. Like those fucking shoots, you know, when you see people come in, you are coming in at 30 to 50 miles an hour. Your body's not meant to stop. Bro, if you want to terrifying, because they don't, they can't teach you how to land. They can like show, they can be like, okay, you see what they're doing. And when you watch them coming in like cars, like, "Ah!" you're like, wait, hold the fuck on. Why are they coming in so fast to the ground? Nope. So homeboy. You do. It's like driving a car. You, uh, if you, wherever you're looking at, you will. Your body's going to naturally go that way. It's like pitching, probably. Yeah, hundred percent. You're like, hey, I'm gonna throw at that fucking mitt. I'm throwing. Your at body that. moves linear. Bro, bro went like this. Uh, legs out, thirty miles an hour. Didn't flare. Just fucking conics. He bent in the metal conics. I'm bounced. guessing he didn't live. Yeah, he lived. Bro, shattered his legs and femur. Just oh went boom. God. Day uh or the next day we're jumping. This is the day after our first jumps. We did five jumps day one. Fucking lady, old lady, they're breaking a record. Hits a dust devil and dust devil. You know, like the dust yep. tornadoes. Absolutely terrifying because your instructors would be like, miss them, don't go near them, and you're like, how do you know if they're up that high? We kind of don't. <laughs> um, what what happens if I'm approaching one? Uh, try to go through it fast or avoid it or a uh, turn. Actually, it really doesn't matter. It's going to do what it wants. So, fucking old lady, 60 feet up, hits one, whoop, and then she flares. You hold a flare, your parachute crumples. 60 so that, feet up. Yeah, She's fine. so she died. Like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> she fucking. Listen, I'm pretty sure there was no quarter flip in that one. She was just dead. Like, yeah. And that is, and then they're just like, like, fuck, okay, everyone keep going. There's no downtime. Like, it is instantaneous. It's like, hey, whoop. Throw the, throw the blanket over her. We got to keep going, guys. Yeah. It, it was fucking weird. But all this jump in, blah, 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 boom. That night, we land. We're fucking cruising. It's about dinner time. I'm like, okay, sweet. I go to pick up my back. Fucking feel a terror. I was like, ah, what the fuck? I tore my quad. Bending over to pick up my fucking backpack. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? So I'm like, huh, that really hurt. That really I'll, didn't feel good. No. And I'm like, dinner, I'm like, good. And then afterwards, Doc's there. Uh, I'm like, do you have any painkillers? My leg. And I'm like, limping, limping. He's like, what'd you do? I was like, bent over to get my backpack. <laughs> Felt a tear. Yeah. And I was like, I don't <laughs> know what's going terribly on. terribly wrong. That was it. That was literally how I felt. Fucked my leg up for like two weeks and wow. couldn't jump again. Was one just bending over? Yeah, yeah landing I mean, on the. Fu- I've been there. Yeah, all day long to fucking almost die. <laughs> yep, and then that's fine. So with me, I tear my meniscus, and then um, I'm coming back from my meniscus tear. I I'm throwing, practicing on our pitches. You know, I throw a curveball, fill a pop, tear my UCL by like fifteen percent. So I get PRP, and then which is for those who don't know what PRP is, they extract blood from your body. 
they put it in this little thing that spins it. White blood cells raise to the top. They extract. Put it back put in. Put it back for in. For healing. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. So, okay. and, they, and they like thick needle straight into the ligament. <laughs> like 18 gauge needle. Yeah. And, and then you can feel it pierce the ligament and they inject it straight in. So, nope. I had that, but it was only, you know, two shots. So I, I get done with that. I'm about now again. I just got drafted. Two weeks tore my meniscus, you know, out season or, or off season. Yeah. Then I come back second day, tear my UCL. Okay, not the best start to being a professional athlete. Mm -mm. No. Out for six weeks, six to eight. It took me nine. Come back. I'm on week eight to coming back, and we're running sprints. Okay. And uh, one of my teammates, Anthony K, who's a big leaguer, fuck you, K, um, challenges me to like, basically, he's, he's like, you're not working hard enough. Yeah. If I can beat you and I'm slow, you're not fucking running. I'm like, fuck you, K, I'll outrun you. Yeah. So we run down the line. We go to turn. I oh. step. <laughs> I go to launch back. My heel, because we, we wear metal cleats, goes straight into a sprinkler head. <gasps> So I went forward, my body didn't, and I snapped my hamstring. Oh! Okay? So your hamstring's connected by three like major things. I tear, I'm going to flick you off. I tear both of them, where just the main, main middle one. one sat there connected, and the other two just completely tore off. My entire leg from the top of my ass to the bottom of my knee, <laughs> black. Right? Oh, instant. Couldn't, couldn't move it, couldn't do nothing. Had to ride in a Prius to the fucking hospital. You probably just fucking I was like, the Prius. I, I had like both of the handles. I was like, right like this, trying to like fucking just get, pissed, get just anger. Oh, bro, just and pain. And I was so mad because I was like, I finally got out of rehab almost. I was finally ready to play. Tear my fucking hammy. So that was, I mean, anyone who's had a hammy tear or a leg tear of any kind understands the amount of work, the amount of like fucking, oh. like it's the worst. I've, I've torn short, well, shoulders the worst, but I've torn shoulder. Elbow, knee, hammy. Hammy's one of the worst ones. At the re, if it's a full tear, you're looking at. You're for done. people don't know this. You're done. What, when you tear a muscle tendon or anything like that, you are like they go in, they have to reattach it to the yep. fucking bone. This is they're like open up. They reattach it to the bone in order yep. for it to operate. When you tear your ulnar collateral ligament, they'll just take the bitch out, take it from your knee or your arm, and then they'll just basically make you a new one. Sewing it. Yeah, they sew they it They sew it on. Yeah. Like a rubber band. Bro, I'm glad I just broke my brain. All this other stuff sounds like <laughs> work, man. My, when you break your brain, you just kind of are fucked. <laughs> like, it's like, all right, it's broken now. You got to deal with it. With that shit, that sounds like work. <laughs> yeah, bro. I so that, I, I was out for six months for that. Six months. Six months. Yeah, I was. Uh, I fucked. What uh, do you do entire, for six months? You game. I'm rehabbing. You play and video game. games. <laughs> I'm rehabbing. I game. So I tear my I tear my uh, hammy. So I would go to the field rehab throw, and I'd be out of there by like noon, and I'd just be playing fucking Fortnite or Rust yeah. all day long. So um. So yeah, that was that was that, and then I come back, tore my UCL again, and then holy uh, shit! And then I finally was able to play. Played in 2019, had a great year. Was slated to go to Double A, and then the Mets sold their team to a new ownership, which meant all my bosses who I had a great relationship with were all gone. Then we heard of this weird sickness <laughs> called COVID. <laughs> oh, and then yeah. You just so then the whole 2020. Was done. done. Yeah. So what happened was, is before the Mets sold, they were trying to raise up my arm slot. So I threw from, I can't really, I, my right arm's dead, but I threw from about right here, righty. And they wanted me to up here. Because like we talked about, like you said, wherever you look, that's where your body's going. Mm -hmm. And I was throwing across my body. So they wanted me to throw this way. So to be able to create that linear movement, they put my arm, oh, fuck, put my arm slot higher. Really? You can't even like do that I shit? Mean, it's like. Uh, really? Yeah, it's fucked up. Holy shit. Yeah. So they wanted my arm slot to be higher. So I'm in a bullpen and, you know, I did weeks of training and my arm's hurting, but I'm throwing like, you know, I end up touching 101. Dang. And then, you know, they're like, all right, Hutch, you're good. And I'm like, one more, one more. <laughs> you, <laughs> you big rotator cuff idiot. gone, labrum torn, just, just tear the whole shebang. And then uh, COVID happens. I get cold shoulder, which you know what that is. You don't move it, you lose it. Um, Boxing. And uh, everywhere was shut down. I couldn't rehab. Yeah. Everywhere was shut down because of COVID. And then they finally opened up, like, after the year was done, like, four to five months later. It was too late. 
Yeah. So I ended up getting released from the Mets, picked up by the White Sox, and I couldn't hardly do anything. I ended yeah. up, I think I touched 94 once. In the next day, I couldn't move. Yeah. I didn't know. So. Oh, man. Cultural. We never call it that in boxing. I know exactly what you're talking about. What do you though. call it? No, I was just like, for it's that off period where I, you can't hit as hard. Like, it's yeah. that, like, oh, I'm not using it proper. Like, I literally, in the last two weeks, my mm-hmm. shoulder's back to where it's like boxing conditioning. Because I'm like, ah, I got that snap back in my left finally. Yeah. And I can feel it i just never knew the term for Cold it shoulder. because i know it because in my head of i can feel that snap and i know when it's hitting proper i'm like yeah. oh it's bad okay there we yeah. go and it takes the reason we call it cold shoulder is because if you ever like grab put your hand in an ice you pull it back out your hands numb yeah that's what cold shoulder is it's like your muscles numb you can't really feel what it's doing yeah, so it's you a can't weird con- feeling you can't control how hard you're throwing how soft you're throwing how you throw stuff yeah for sure it just holy shit it's like it's awkward it's this weird feeling, and you're like, ah, every time. Like, even, like, for us, it's like the connection, but it's not. Like, did I hit there. it hard? Did I not hit it hard? Did, yeah, you, it's did I get extension? the sound and how it, like, yeah. resonates. And I'm like, mm-hmm. eh, eh. To, like, today I was actually thinking I was hitting the heavy bag. I was like, oh, okay, like, everything's back to movement, and it's mm-hmm. precise, mm-hmm. and I can feel the snaps. But I never yeah. knew why when I take these extended periods of time off or injuries. Your muscles, like, they, you know, they get cold. Yeah. Yeah. And it sucks. And you're it's like, fuck, this is bad. stupid. And then on top of that, you have, you know, I tore my shoulder, so I have scar tissue building up. Yeah. Lots. And anyone who deals with scar tissue knows that it's a bitch. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, it's just fucking ended my career. Okay, well, fucking, and now you game. Yeah, And you, exactly. I, you do role playing. I do all kinds of stuff. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, so I, I like, I, I role play, so... That goes, if we want to segment into that. So that, so way, the way it started was, is in, um, in 20, 2020, but COVID year probably, um, me and Summit started playing together. Yeah. So we uh, never heard of him. Uh, uh, who? Summit one G. Summit one. Nah, I, I know you guys probably sounds short. You, you fucking know about angry. Um, something on a monitor. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he punches <laughs> monitors actually. <laughs> but how'd you meet? So, Randomly, just yeah. So um, Summit, he joined this uh, GTA server called No Pixel. Oh yeah, and no pixel. That blew that's up small, in 2019. Yeah, that small community server. Yeah, I've never heard of it. <laughs> so he joins this no pixel <laughs> server, and we played before on Fortnite. Um, and that was like, you know, I asked him to play. He figured out who I was, and then was like, yeah, we can play a game or something. Yeah. And um, Bo, uh, one of our friends who ended up passing away last or oh, shit, man, it's been what three years now. He passed away. Um, he, you know, he was in so much chat a lot. He was, you know, basically a mod. And he was like. Hey, you know, he saw me talking in his chat. He's like, hey, you should come and try the server out. You'd really enjoy it. Yeah. You know, I was an athlete. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll come try it out. So me and Summit started hanging out every day. You know, not whenever I first rolled up because he didn't know who I was. Yeah. So for like a year, we would like, you know, both be RPing around each other. But, you know, I didn't want to be like, hey, this is me. We ran into it. You know, I didn't want to be that guy. Yeah. Small table, high fences, bitches. Yeah. So for like for a year. <laughs> That's funny. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what yeah. it is. Small table, high fences, bitches. Yeah. So I didn't, you know, I didn't want to be that guy and be like, hey, we know each other. Yeah. So for a year, I didn't even talk to him, nothing. Mm-hmm. I just played the game and I really had a lot of fun. So I kept playing it. And then naturally we ran into each other. We started hanging out. We both like the same shit. We have the same, you know, likes and ideologies and whatever. Yeah. And we started playing every day. Every single day I'd get out of practice, I'd log on, me and him would go racing, hanging out. And then <clears throat> one day, PUBG fucking like, hey. explodes. Yeah. So we're like, hey, let's go play. He's like, I'm gonna go play PUBG. And I hit him up. I'm like, hey, you wanna play? And he was like, Yeah, sure, let's go. And we've played every day for the last three and a half years. Oh, shit. That's so fucking dope. And that was your part of your big break. You were like, oh, hey, it was 100 percent my big break. Yeah, the hundred percent. You know, I was I was like tens of before viewers. Before that, no, 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 before. So I was at tens, but you know, GTA RP and no pixel. Oh, it everyone's blew up. a content creator. Yeah. Right. So I would get bleed viewership because I was always that guy who was actually playing the video game, not living <laughs> yeah. through my character. So I would fuck with people so much. So fucking much. And no one knew I was an athlete. I didn't tell anybody. So everyone's like, this random fucking guy is robbing me. Like, who the fuck does he think he is? So people were curious. And I didn't tell my stream I was a professional athlete either. So I Oh, really? This, you kept that kind of? No, I shit. kept that secret for a year and a half, two years. Just like I had a lot of baseball <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I, I had a lot of baseball stuff on my stream, but no one, everyone just thought yeah, I was a fan. You just like baseball, for sure. Yeah. So, um, 
yeah, so no one really knew. And then one day I told people and that gained some traction. But I was like two, three, four hundred viewers. Yeah. And um, that was on like a really, really good day. But then when I started playing with Summit, um, you know, my viewership. Hundreds turned into thousands. Exactly. And, and especially on an RP, sir. I remember an a- Ashlyn. Ash. Ashlyn. I know I, Ashlyn. I, dude. I remember. I, we, yeah, we've talked about it for a while. Yeah. Ashlyn. I knew Ashlyn before she went to pick no pixel. I'm watching that overnight. Yeah, because she was dude, she was talented. But, she was really really good. But she was doing like tens of viewers mm-hmm. at that point. No pixel. I remember her character, or whatever that thousands. Char- she blew dude, up. Dude, it's like, yeah, she was hysterical. It was a fucking overnight sensation. I was like, yeah. oh, what is this? And I re- uh, that's the first time I seen RP. I'm mad. I got invited. No pixel. And I never did it. <laughs> yeah, I Bro. never got into it. I was just like. Mm. Yeah, I mean, and, and it was back. It was way different back then. You go, yeah. Oh yeah. You know, you like it was just. It was crazy, and it Wild was West. so much fun, and you know it was it was crazy. So you know my stream. I mean, it was the new the new GTRP explosion, and it, and it held. Yeah. You know, yeah. so you know my viewership went up, and then we were both frustrated, so we played PUBG, and then that PUBG led into Daisy, which led into Tarkov. Yeah, and then Tarkov was when my stream. I went from you know five, six, seven hundred subs to twenty five, three thousand subs. Yeah, and, absolutely, and it became like. A reality. So mm-hmm. then I go back to to GTA. I'm at like fuck five to seven thousand viewers at this point. Damn, and my man. stream is like at its peak, and then I get hit up by the White Sox. And I'm like, I I would kill. I would like. I would kill myself inside because if I didn't go for one more time, dude, the White Sox. I'd be letting fat. everyone down. You know. I don't even do sports. Yeah, like I would. I would like mentally. I don't know if I could recoup from that. So I was like, I'm I- gonna go and I'm gonna play. I'm gonna try it one more time. Okay, I, I, my see, I, I feel opposite. Like I, I, I hear Eli saying that. Eli, no. So for the sports, if the military was like, you can be a Delta guy, I'd be like, no, no, I did this. Okay, that's what I was. I've that's what I was wondering. Done military, no. <laughs> <laughs> but on my side, five four, million for a year, forty grand to, to get shot at for a year. Compared to that, different story. Yeah. Now. D- well, mm. no, yeah, no, 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 no. See, he's thinking. even now I'm like tier one. Oh. You want just, oh. but, but so for me it was yeah. like it was like what we talked about before. Like yeah, the injuries suck and like mm. the pay was terrible and like to give you an idea during COVID. I mean, but it's I also was, a lifelong dream you've been building up to. Exactly, it's, and you, I, you can't say no. Wait, to how that. many years into COVID is this? This is the COVID year. You know, so you've had after. like a year of downtime, right? Yeah, when my streamer blew, when my stream career blew up. Was, so you have a year of downtime. Yeah. So you you get the call and you're like this. You look in the mirror and you're like, fuck. Yeah. So <laughs> so during COVID, I have not been trained. <laughs> yeah, like three months after COVID hit, you know, we thought we were going to be playing. So I thought I had a paycheck coming in. Now. Three hundred sixty thousand dollars turns into two eighty after taxes. Now, believe it or not, an eighteen year old kid can blow through that money pretty <laughs> fucking quick. <laughs> pretty fucking quick, especially with those high APRs. <laughs> Listen, I, <laughs> let's just say, let's what? just say, let's just say, in two years, I was dirt broke. <laughs> like, what? yeah. Yeah, like I mean, I'm so surprised. Yeah, especially with your mathematical <laughs> skills. <laughs> like this I mean, is so caught off like, guard. I, I end up right when I get drafted. I buy a Nissan Titan XD, brand new, forty five thousand. Yeah, sign the check. Fucking here it is. Buy it in cash. Didn't like it. Let me buy a Mustang for twenty more thousand. Two two weeks later, lose my ass on the the Titan. Buy the Mustang. Right, so there's sixty something thousand yeah, dollars. I, mean, I, as much I would I go. Mock you, we joined the army, Eli. We ain't got shit. Yeah, we ain't got shit. <laughs> Your dad's riding to his work on his lawnmower. Like, <laughs> you dumb you shit, motherfucker. <laughs> so you know, I would like go out. I remember one time. I remember one time. True story. I went to University of Florida with a bunch of the guys. We drove down for just a party. Yeah, on a weekend, and uh, I was fucking hammered, hammered, and I was like, yeah, fucking drinks on me. Put it down. Oh no! Whole bar, and now if you go to UF or anyone who's been to UF, there's a. There's How a much was this tape? Gators Four grand? deck, eight grand. I ended up swiping my card for it at the end of the night because they had it was it was football night and they had, they had the pitchers. Y'all know that it's like a it's like a twelve dollar pitcher of beer. Mm-hmm. And these motherfuckers are getting like six pitchers each. Yeah, because when you said on me, they're just and I didn't know I was on second floor. They did it for second and the first floor. Because word travels. 
So everybody was like, yeah, I'm on his tab. I'm on his tab. Oh. So dumb choices like that. It was the highest bar tab I've ever had, $8,000. Bottles. We had everything. We bought everything. So, and by we, I mean me, me and yeah, the yeah. UF guys who I went and played high school ball with who were at UF were also on my tab telling their friends, yeah, he has it. Yeah, you like, know. What's your highest bar tab you've ever hit? I don't, man, I'm pretty decent with my, because I'm, I grew up like three. Yeah, you got me beat by a lot. Three I'm grand, still, no, but that was shot show. Oh, yeah. yeah and, and again, shots, like people. No, 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 shot show. show. It's, it's a big convention, like, yeah, like yeah, gun yeah, convention. Yeah. We're just, like. I grew up fucking. Me and Slush Puppy went real hard. Yeah. Slush. Oh, I remember that night. That, yeah, I remember <laughs> that night. The open bar ended and we were piss drunk and we just. That was kept. Eli was recently single of two weeks. And yeah, I you was were having, gone. Yeah, Eli yeah, left early gone. that night. I was having. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and I you know, people, people hear that bar tab, they're like, there's just no way. Think of nope, I've 250 to 300 college kids. All getting no, eight grand. So that, that, mad, that, that, I mean, and the biggest bar on the UF campus, and everyone was there because the spin. football team was no, there. I have after easily the game. myself hit many five hundred to a thousand dollar bar tabs. Yeah, like, I always say now because I don't drink. Like outside of this, I do not drink. Yeah, me and Eli, we don't do a lot outside of this anymore because our livers hurt because we're old. Yeah. Oh, I'm the same way. My liver, I'm the same way. I haven't cool. drank in months, dude. So I like cheers, cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> so when I like. And now when I look at even our bills from eating out, I'm like, oh, it's like 40 bucks. Because when we go, dude, when we went to the fucking, um, where we got Mammosa's at? Um, Expectation. Our bill was every three to six hundred dollars every, every time. fucking yeah. time, and that's between three dudes. Yep, three dudes. We, we just be like, mimosas. and every time you look at it, you're like, oh, this is the normal. Until you cut out booze, and we're like, it's it's a hundred dollars for oh. eight people now. It's like, what were we doing? Yeah. So, yeah, and, and that wasn't the only thing. I'd go to, like, clubs and whatever. Oh, yeah, of course, man. I Dude, you buy a drink. I want a bottle. 18-year-old kid with money. What yeah. Do you get? I, no, I and, and, you know, I look yeah, at my yeah. bank account. I see $230,000. I'm like, that's never going to go away. I look at my bank account, $180,000. It's lower, but I mean, fuck it. It's 180 grand. I remember I looked at my bank account. And then you're doing this game, you're like, 150000 Oh, no, 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 less, no. It was, it was I remember <laughs> I looked at it, and it was like $180,000. I didn't look at it for like eight months. And then I opened up my phone. I saw $80,000 just sitting there. And I was like, how did I spend $100,000? I have nothing to show like, for it. what the fuck Literally is nothing. I should have a house my now. Money. You know, I, you know I, I'd pay for a couple things for my parents in that time and whatever, but... Like, how did I lose 100? So I end up getting a financial advisor, and he takes all the rest of that money, puts it in, you know, whatever funds, and, you know, takes care of me. And then uh, he's like, listen, I'm going to send you 800 bucks a month. You can live off of it, whatever. But, bitch, so, I need two grand. So then COVID hit, and I thought I was getting a paycheck. Well, because of COVID happened, I moved, me and my fiance now, to St. Lucie or Fort Myers. And, or not Fort Myers, Fort, uh, what's it, Fort Lauderdale? We'll just say St. Lucie. I moved my, my me and her to St. Lucie so I could train in the off season there because yeah. Jared Banner, fucking shout out Jared, he he took care of me. He was my boy. He was our yeah. Miley director. He was awesome. Me and him had a great relationship, and uh, he was he was like, "You're gonna get ready for double A. You're gonna be a beast." Crushing and blah blah blah. Then COVID hit, and I tore my my shoulder. So I I was making uh -oh. no money. I had to train. So after about probably what three months of COVID, um. I, my bank account was zero because my my rent was fifteen hundred. Yeah, I would get eight hundred. I'm missing eight hundred dollars. So I'd have streaming was the way I would pay for it. Then I had to train, and I only had like six seven hundred subs at that point. So I ended up stopping streaming, and I be <laughs> I became a basic. <laughs> Basically, I was a janitor. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, so what I would do is I would go to Barwis Methods and um, in uh, Boca Raton. Shout out Mike Barwis. He gave me a job, and I would go there and I would clean the equipment. I would do laundry. I'd clean the towels and shit. And then uh, because I was doing that, uh, they allowed me to work out for free. So I did that for about a month. I would drive two and a half hours there, two and a half oh, hours back. Shit. On, on your top of on that. Your Lot, the lot I wish I'd save you just me took fucking your money. Job, you're like, I get it now. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I would drive up there. Is. I would drive up there in my Mustang, and then you know, Great if gas someone mileage. gives you, if someone gives you a fucking uh, a shot or something like that, you're not gonna yeah, say no to you things. Try. So he's like, I want you to coach your baseball team too. So oh, I would go it. there. I would show up at 6 a.m. 
for a 7 a.m. lift. I'd show up. I would make all the people, Red Wings, hockey players. Um, I had a bunch of guys from like the Steelers yeah. and the Bucks who would all work out there. You know, we would all work out, but I would make them like shakes before and then shakes after, which is yeah. like the most humbling experience of my life because I'm a professional athlete. But I'm also a fucking janitor and everyone's bitch. <laughs> like, I would be in the middle of work. I would be like, Hutch, I need a drink. I'm like, fuck. Okay. Walk over there, get a drink for him, and then I'd continue working out. But it, it's good for you as a 100%. Human. And it taught me the value of the dollar because I never learned that. Yep. And um, going so, up poor, a uh, little known fact when you go up poor, you're usually way worse with money. Period. Yep. Because we're not taught how to fucking nope. how money works. We're like, <gasps> What's a dollar? What is this fucking this genie? Just yeah. puts it here. That's Does it dope. grow on trees? I need more. I need more. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I would please. I would, <laughs> please. <laughs> so I would clean the equipment and then I would do that till about five o'clock. I would go get lunch and then I would have practice at seven. I would coach the team from or help as assistant. Coach the team from seven to like nine o'clock. I'd drive two and a half hours back, get home at eleven, eleven thirty, go mm-hmm. to sleep, wake up, do it again. Nice did repeat. that for a month. And then, um, and then they opened up Barwis near us, and I didn't have to do it anymore. But that for a, a month of my experience. life, yeah, I mean, it, it, like I said, made me value the work Yeah, the oh, dollar. yeah, I bet, man. Fuck. Yeah, very humbling experience. And now you're into what kind of game? What's your favorite style? Or so, what's your favorite game? You love, 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 I like Tarkov. Batty hates Tarkov. I love Tarkov, but I hate Tarkov. Exactly. See? I'm the same boat. Like, with Tarkov made me as a streamer. Like, GTA gave me a platform. First, and it, it grew me to the exposure level of streaming, but Tarkov is what blew me the fuck up. Yeah. And that's what made me go from making a, enough to... Like, when I first started streaming Tarkov, I was in my parents' garage because I just got released from the Mets, had no money. My, me and my girl were living at our parents' house. Yeah. Your dad, that's when he's like, I'm sorry I cried when you died. Yeah. <laughs> you shut of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. your dad, she's like, oh. I rode a you lawn mower for you. better work. <laughs> so I move, I move back in with my parents. I'm streaming out of the fucking garage because my parents can't deal with me cursing and the noise because they're very, you know, Southern Baptist. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. So they don't like me cursing. And, uh. So I'm in the I'm in the garage I'm you know streaming and fucking we're in Florida I'm sweating balls <laughs> streaming <laughs> and it was the know. worst fucking thing exactly. ever. Yeah, Florida garage. But then yeah. you know I started I started having success and, uh, and then I ended up getting 25, 28, 3,000 subs and then I was able to move myself into apartment. Nice. Dude. I don't feel bad for you. I feel bad for your computer <laughs> that was in a fucking oh, Florida garage. Uh, that poor computer's like help. No, it, it's it's even done. worse. It's even worse. It's even worse. I went to Best Buy and got and got a computer from Best Buy. And I'm not I'm not very like technology. Tech what? No way. Yeah, I, I'm not very technology. That's all you had to say. That so, exact sentence. So it's become a meme in my community. I'm just now one of my favorite guests ever. Had. I'm technology. I'm not very technology. Punch. So there's so, your merch. So so I, I I used to get fucking pissed because my computer would just randomly turn off. Right? Weird. And I was, I went to Best Buy. I went to Best Buy and I bought this computer. I was like, give me the best. This is why I have money. So give me the best computer you have, best monitor. Yeah. And, you know, I'm fucking let's do it. And it would just randomly turn off. I'd be like, what the fuck is happening? Well, I get a sponsor by iBuy Power and yeah. they send me a new computer. So I take my other computer, I swap it, and I have my old computer sitting there. And my chat's like, what is that inside your computer? It's fucking brown, and it's like burnt. I didn't know what packaging foam was. (laughs) And packaging foam (laughs) sat in my computer for a year and change. And was went from from being... You stupid motherfucker! (laughs) Went from being like like white... To like burnt brown. I used to like always smell something burning. But I, never did. I always thought that that's just what? that was just like what the what streaming did to my computer just made it really hot or something. And this all happened on stream. Like if people think I'm making this up. It happened on stream. Like people are like, "What is that in your computer?" Oh my god, that's fucking packaging foam. And they were like, "How did you?" I was like, hey, I just, it's your boy Hutch here. <laughs> we got that cha- that color changing thermal packing shit well, up I, in this bitch. I thought it was I thought it was in there to hold everything together, you know, like because if it if it wasn't oh, what, 
What would keep Have things? Have you never seen a computer before? <laughs> no, it's just, no, no. Before this, it was always like, you know, the computers the where it was. The compact Masari with the brown case. No, not the, even the, that. The, 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 the desk, the, the, the monitors with the computer built into the monitor. That oh, was the only that, computer that, I've that, ever that, had. That, 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 yes, that. yes. That's the only computer I ever had. So you just and looked the at this other one, other with than a that, clear glass. He was poor. I know. Yeah, the only other than that was my dad's work gave him one of the Apple ones, which again was the fucking monitor built in computer. So I never knew. I, I never fucking knew. I so want to be mad, at but at the same time, like, I, I understand everything you're saying. It yeah. makes sense. It, like, if you don't have that experience, how, how are you supposed to how learn? How am I supposed to know? I just picture this. <laughs> Oh no, it wasn't like that. It was like, it was like just, <laughs> just screaming. Your PC had cancer. Yes. Yes. It was so bad. So, so, Run, you fool. <laughs> so everyone was like, Hutch, you could have burnt your fucking house now. Like, you have any. No, but no, again, it's, may, it's way worse. You could have burnt your parents' garage. <laughs> I know. Down. I know. So, like, you know, I was sitting there and, you know, it, it's, it's fine. I need to let you know, uh, at any time in the future, if you need me to come look at your PC, let me know. <laughs> I will uh, I will fly there to make. I love building PCs. Yes. I, that is my favorite. Please don't burn your house I down. I won't. I won't. I won't. Oh God! But yeah. So so yeah. It was fucking brown. It was fucking. It was bad, man. It was bad. And then uh, so yeah, I got the iBuy Power, and then uh, I ended up moving like a two PC setup and whatever. So and who built it for you? Uh, well, <laughs> no, so, so I had to like I had to my my modder like my right hand guy yeah. his name's Gav. He had to like on FaceTime talk me through like how to install RAM. Yeah. Like that oh, was like yeah. the hardest thing in the world I've ever done in my life. Right, G Van? I couldn't make a table. <laughs> I couldn't make a table. G Van? <laughs> <laughs> we have a RAM story about him. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, G Van. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I just yeah, he had to talk me through like how yeah. to do that shit and you know Damn. It, was fucking, it was Adult I, Legos is what I call it. Yeah, oh, same. I could never. I, can't. I grew up doing it though. I started building pieces yeah. when I was like 17, 16. I couldn't 16. build a chair. <laughs> like <laughs> I've so I bet, you know what? Out of all the things you could do, I bet you could build a pretty good chair. I don't know. I mean as Amish as I look, I don't think so. I, I bet you could throw a baseball I real could. good. I could. I could. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. I'm fucking useless. <laughs> oh, fucking. I'm, I am in the I'm in the right line of work where I am right now. What's your favorite game? Like uh, like FPSs? You like it's hard. Tarkov. Tarkov is my favorite. My favorite Period. FPS of all time is but Tarkov. I'm agree with what them. is your game though? You have to have a game where you're like unless it is Tarkov, which. Mm. Some RPG sport, like no, my favorite. Where you're like, this is my pastime. And yes, it's not my streaming thing, but this is my passion. Well, yeah, I mean, it, fuck, man. Like, I think I speak for a lot of people who like stream, and I think maybe even you too. It's yeah. like you lose. I don't know. Like it, for me, it's like there's games that will come out where I'm like, oh, I like to play that or whatever. But I don't really fall in love with games that I'm not streaming because I can't. Because if I do, then I'll invest way too much time into it, and my stream will suffer because of it. Yep. So for 100%. me, I don't want to say like streaming is a job because really it's the best job in the world. In but my it's, it's still a job. It's still a job. A when, when you turn a hobby into your job, yep. anybody who's had a passion for work or uh, anything will eventually be like, this is no, that, that like that love for that thing. It changes. It really does. Yeah, it, it, it's it, the same thing with gaming. Like, honestly, I don't do it for fun you, anymore. Unless you, unless you I look do at it. Unless <laughs> 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 yeah, it's he was like a cry earlier, and now he's like, "Yeah, fuck them kids." <laughs> Jesus Christ! But yeah, it's like unless un That's unless shirt. you've fuck lived them kids. it, <laughs> unless you've lived it. I could be can't. taken the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just letting you know, I'm not comfortable with that. Oh! Oh! Now suddenly we have a line. The now, truth comes out. Now there's a line in the... Okay. <laughs> Batty wants to wear a shirt that says, fuck them kids. <laughs> Weird, I call that the line. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like kids. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't like kids. I'm okay with that. You know what? Oh That's gosh. a good compromise. I don't like kids. <laughs> but like, unless you've lived it, unless you've been through it, it's hard for yeah. people to, you know, even if you've played games for thousands of hours, but you've never worked like in the gaming industry, it's hard to understand where we come from. Absolutely. I, I try to explain it all the time. It's, it is a very different feeling to have to play a game. Yeah. I would put it like this. Imagine you have your job and you show up every day and you do the exact, like uh, fucking cutting wood. You're like, that's what you think. And then all of a sudden your boss is like, hey, you have to now hang drywall. You're getting paid one half of what you're making. You're like, fucking, why am I hanging drywall? This yeah. sucks dick. It's the same job. Why am I getting paid less? That's what streaming is. Or for even a game. the opposite. You start hanging drywall and then they're like, we're going to pay you so much more. And you're like, I hate I hanging fucking drywall. hate this. <laughs> what? But we're going to hang this motherfucker. This pays way better. Exactly. Do it. So, and, and that's what it is, you know. So I, I, I love playing video games, I love what I do, but. There is a hundred percent more times than not where I'm like, fuck, man, dude, I, I'm getting into it again, you know. Yeah, I'm oh no, I get more. it. We talked about it earlier at dinner. I was like, because I, I am thankful. I don't, I just don't give a fuck about streaming. I'm like, I'm gonna play this. Ah, we're gonna play this. Ah, we're just doing just chat. I want to play Armor Core. I'm gonna do two hours of that and then switch to whatever the fuck yeah. I want at this point. You're a hobby streamer. That's okay yeah. though. That's good. You and, know and, that. Though. And on top of that, streaming ruins. Playing video games for fun. For fun. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I don't. like even whenever yep. I try and play video games for fun, like I'll be playing and I'll do something good and I'm like, fuck, I should do it. The amount of times I, I, I've played only a handful of raids of Tarkov offline ever, and the amount of times I've gotten another raid like successful, I'm like, fuck yeah. Every time when I you're not playing my music and I look to my chat and I go, I'm oh God. I'm not live. <laughs> I am sick. I am ill. Yep. Like, it's so built into you to, to be like, you need that, like, that's the next step. Yeah. And, yeah, and people always ask me, like, how do you play Tarkov solo all the time? I don't. I have thousands of people watching me, and yep. I'm playing with them we while I'm play playing. We should play some time together offline. I'm like, I don't play. I don't, yeah. No. And, and it, it's not that I hate Tarkov, and I hate streaming, or I hate video yeah. games. I'm streaming just because it makes me money. It's just, it, it, it's so hard to explain to people where it's like, I love what I do, Yeah. but it's what I do. Yeah. And, and there's nothing very wrong with different. that. I do, dude. Fucking, you know, when I actually play Warzone now, like we're diamond ranked in the uh, whatever the yeah, and we're climbing. We get we're gonna get masters if we play. Whenever we play, that's uh, the hardest part. Is like, ah, do I want to play? I text the group chat. I'm like, eh, they have a text back. Okay, we're playing. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. And now, bro, I will let you guys know. I hate that I did not play Red Dead Redemption 2 until You're such a fucking idiot. It's such ago. a good game. Bro, you don't know. I have told to you this. I know. I know. I know. I'm a fucking idiot. But holy shit, is it on that next level? It's, of, it's unbelievable. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and then chat, it's so weird. I'm like, hey, we're playing it. And it's nice. I love chat playing with me because they're like, oh, look at this. But it's very weird watching these guys that have invested many hours into it. And then I do something like, what the fuck? Where are you? I've never seen this place yeah, yeah, before. It's so. one of those. You know, that's why we talked about Starfield earlier. Yeah. And, and how it's just so different. Like, even even though they're different gaming companies in, like, Oblivion or Skyrim. Yeah. It's just so different because there's so much less of that. Yeah. You know? oh. But, yeah, so it's it's really, really hard. It's really, really hard to, to play video games and, and to enjoy them without hitting the live button. For because sure. it's like, I'm not... You know, I, I'd say, and I, I know, again, you can relate. I enjoy video games, but I enjoy my chat so much more than Absolutely. I enjoy what I'm playing. Yes. I enjoy the guys who are sharing it with me, guys and girls who are sharing these moments with me. Wait, Taking out a five-man, I think less about I just took them out and more about what is everyone else thinking that about I just took them out. Yeah. And everyone's fucking losing their shit. All right, no, hold on. So we're around two hours. We're going to call it here. I have yep. one last question, though. It's very important. What is the best streamer item in Tarkov? Batty Spear. Thank you for watching this subscribe podcast. As always, we have Eli doubled up myself, Batty Streams, and the beautiful, powerful, so goddamn strong, kind of a gimpy right arm, Hutch <laughs> MF. Please tell everybody where they can find you, where all your things and stuff are. Twitch.com to Hutch MF. That's, Damn, it. that's it. That's, that's the only it. one you want to shout out. You want to yell at anything else? That's about it. All right, fuck. We'll see you guys on the podcast after show over on Patreon right after for uh, another wonderful story about Hutch in the bathrooms, probably looking at men's drunk. <laughs> we'll Thank talk you very about much, guys. Mathematics. <laughs>